Uh, before we do anything then, let's see what Caesar has in store for us. We've finished numerous cities. Surely it is time for us to put our feet up. But no, old Toga Boy has sent in another parchment. Let's see what he has to say. So, salve, Governor. I am on the march northwards to inspect my outer holdings and need a headquarters in which I will establish myself. I am sending you on ahead to establish a fine and prosperous city that will be ready once I arrive to serve as my seat of power. You have 15 years to reach near maximum prosperity and establish Rome's greatness in the forests of Gaul. You must be ruthless in establishing a foothold in this barbaric terrain. Good luck. Always seems disingenuous. When Caesar is offering us good luck, he could offer us something else, like some decent starting denarii, but no, I, I think Toga Boy's getting way too cocky. One of these days I'm going to have a map where I just purposely flip him off and I decimate his armies. In any case, he does give us some hints. He says you have precious little time to establish yourself and meet the steep population and prosperity requirements. Yeah, this is not much of a hint. I'm well aware of that. Be watchful for enemy patrols seeking to ambush the Emperor as he travels north, so there will be enemy attacks. Tax is crucial. Establish a high level of tax as early as possible. Trade will collapse as time goes on. Very difficult to do on very hard mode, but we'll take your advice to heart. Thank you, Caesar. Let's get into it then. Palmar has created his map and sent it to me, and as is often the case, he says, use the save file, because it's been edited above and beyond the map file. So, oh man, this is one nicely organized set of, uh, set of names. I really like the idea, and I stole this from the, uh, the other city building gods, of punctuating your save file with your own handle beforehand. So now I know these are all of Troglu's save files, these are all of Whisperwind's, and these are all of mine. And I've got a fair few. Got a few from Bruegel as well. I usually just reference these. They all are either beautiful or very well made, and I can usually learn something out of them. In any case, if you're wondering about maps and saves, they're all kept on a very 1990s website called Caesar Heaven. I'm getting off the topic here. Prosperous times, let's go. We immediately pause, and we immediately assess the situation. And what is the situation? Caesar 4 was horrible, made by mediocre team. I'm actually not sure who worked on Caesar 4. Was it different from the people that worked on this? Also, isn't there the... Yeah, here we go. These are all the people behind Caesar 3. It's funny, if you load this up in the map editor, there's a little message there that said something along the lines of put together by the overworked and underpaid team. Actually, now that I've said that, I need to check. I'm aware that we're going off topic here, but here we go. Copyright Sierra Online 1998. The Caesar 3 editor is brought to you by the same overworked, underfed plebes who created the game. Click these links to see their names or help with the editor. Are these websites? No, it just brings up that. And what was the other one? Help with the editor. Ooh, what a brilliant almanac they made in Caesar 3. So simple, right? It's, it's just links to other links, but man, is it good. There's so much text here, and there's text about just about everything in the game, both mechanically and historically. Uh, no, let's get away from you. I get to the get to the actual game. It's crazy how few people were needed to make a game back then compared to now. It's all fluff today. Right, right, enough of my opinions. What's up with this map? How do I do rundowns again? Hmm. Well, to start with, we have barely any money, and yet this is still more than I normally get. 2400 denarii is barely enough to set up any kind of city. It is enough to avoid debt if you take it slow, but the biggest problem we have right here is this. 180 months to win a map. 15 years. Now, I would say that any experienced player can beat any map in 30 years. It doesn't matter what the requirements are, 30 years, you can get the job done if you know what you're doing. That's, that does not apply to newbies, or even like slightly experienced players, because it can be difficult to rope that out. Still, 30 years is a good benchmark. 25 years if you're really good, and 20 years is punishing. 15 years 
you really gotta know what you're doing. And if the demands are high, like 95 prosperity, oh boy, 15 years is rough. Granted, it is possible to complete a map, no matter the requirements, in as few as... Uh, hmm... No, that's not entirely true. Peace can think. Let's, let's ignore peace for a moment. It is possible to be to map with any prosperity requirement within 10 years, if you can believe that. But the way of doing so is so hard. Very few of the Caesar III gods have ever managed to get 10 prosperity in the first year. But I'll talk a lot about prosperity in about 5 minutes. Let's cover everything else about the map. So, availability. We have all water, all medical, all gods, all education, including... The fan favorite barbaran pacifying mission post, and I will be using that mission post very early. Uh, this is not all the entertainment. What is missing here? Theater, amphitheater, hippodrome, gladiator school, actor colony, chariot maker. There's no coliseum. I don't know why there's no coliseum, but that does mean that we will not be able to get the best level of patricians. The best will be allowed is still pretty high, but mm, that's going to put a bit of pressure on the prosperity requirement, but not an insurmountable amount. Even so, uh, Colosseum is one of the heaviest hitters. It gives up to 25 entertainment, as I believe. Uh, I'm going to have to check that, actually. A functional Colosseum gives 15, but it gives 25 if it has both lions and gladiators. And it'll give an additional 5 if your coverage of uh, Colosseums is 100%, but that is very difficult to get to. Ooh. Um, we have... okay, we do not have access to... We do not have access to statues, so getting patricians is going to be a bit difficult. Statues are amazing at giving um, desirability to an area, mostly because they don't need road access or any sort of engineering. So that's going to be a bit of a pay. Otherwise, we have forums at long last. I hope it's a long time before I see another map where I don't get forums. Unless you really like small casa. Okay, life just got even harder. There is no access to plaza. That'll make it hard to get both patricians and even plebes. So we're going to need to use a lot more space to build up prosperity. I'm going to have some more awkward um, housing areas for them. That's rough. Hey, it's Dr. Massange! My favourite dog whisperer. How's it going? For me, well, we'll find out in a few in-game months how it's going. Uh, we have a fort in the barracks, but no military academy. We do have towers. And for goods, that's always easier to check goods here. We have two types of food. That's difficult for patricians, but maybe we can import a third. We have local access to clay and furniture, which is brilliant. Uh, those are the two that I care most about. I couldn't give half a hoot about oil or wine, unless I'm specifically going for 100% uh, Grand Insulae, which I tend to call making a happy city. If all citizens live in at least Grand Insulae, I usually call it happy whatever the name is. Trading opportunities. We are in Lutetia. Trading opportunities are minimal. We only have Lugdunum and Mediolanum. I feel like we played a map where we were in Lutetia very recently. In any case, that means exports are a bit rough. They're not terrible, but they're very few. Um, hmm, I mean, pottery is pretty good at 25. Weapons are pretty good at 25. 15 furniture and 25 iron. So I will be looking to maximize that as soon as possible, because making money is of absolute importance here. Without money, you're going to struggle on prosperity. I mean, fast money. You need money for everything in this game. Happy Massilia is still one of the best ever, says Astro Boy. I can barely remember Happy Massilia. Hmm. If you remind me, we'll look at it at the end of this. I don't want to get too sidetracked. I've been sidetracked enough already. Okay, invasion points. Fortunately, most of the map is very clearly blocked off, either by elevated land or by forest. It's a tiny little gap here, but I highly doubt that is an invasion point. It's never normally on tiny little one-tile bits like that. Uh, and again, that looks pretty suspicious, doesn't it? No. This is almost certainly our invasion point. 
It's possible that it's here, but only a, a fiendish map maker puts an invasion point on the <laughs> on the entry or exit point. Excuse me. I don't know if my sneezing got taken away by the noise suppression. Hopefully it did. This can't be an invasion point. There isn't actually a route that brings you over here from here. So we're pretty safe from that. Hmm. Who made this map, asks DDD. Uh, this is a Palmar map. And this is a Palmar map that's been attempted by Blobber. Blobber really, really did not like it. Said all sorts of nasty things about it, many of which I actually agree with. And yet, I really want to try it here. It has been reviewed to be made a bit less punishing. But I think this can be done, and more more than that, I really want to do it because so often we take it easy with early prosperity and build up the slum town immediately because, hey, who cares? We can make do with slums for a while, but on this one, we cannot. And it's time for me to talk about exactly why not. But I need a drink. I'm feeling all bunged up this morning for some reason. Yeah, I do want to point out how nice this river looks. It's a splitting river, or I wonder if it converges and goes north, only to split again. In any case, it does a great job of breaking up the land, and looks aesthetically very pleasing. Yeah, I think I do have a bit of the sniffers here, DDD. I feel fine, though. It's just uh, just the bungin', so it's no big deal. Uh, what was I about to talk about? Prosperity. Okay, so the reason this map is what it is is... Not because, well, I mean, the map does look pretty gorgeous to build on, but there's not anything immediately challenging looking about it. The challenge is entirely from this 95 prosperity requirement, and the fact that we have 15 years to get it. The high population is a concern. The higher the population, the harder it is to get that prosperity, because you'll always proportionally need a number of plebs relating to your patricians, and you're going to need more and more patricians if you have more and more population. But I digress. Let's talk about prosperity mechanically, shall we? This is a list of every way to get prosperity. Prosperity goes up or down at the turn of every year, and it will go up or down. Uh, well, it can go up by up to 10 points, and it can go down as much as it wants to. So it generally takes a cap based on the average level of all your houses. So if you have a lot of villas and uh, your plebs are living in lovely insulae, you'll generally have a high amount of prosperity. But if you have very few or no patricians and lots of people are living in shacks or tents or hovels, uh, then you're going to have a very low prosperity cap, which means you can't exceed that. For reference, the prosperity cap of a single small tent is five. The prosperity cap of a Medium Palace is, I think, 900. Maybe it's even more than that, but it's big. And your prosperity is rated from 0 to 100. So every year it's going to go up or down based on the things that are on screen. So if your prosperity cap is higher than your existing prosperity, you're going to gain two points. That's very easy to do early on. So even if we just have crummy small tents, our current prosperity is 0, the cap would be 5 we'd gain two points. Lovely. If you make a profit, you get another two points. Getting two points is pretty big, because most things only give one. A profit is determined if your losses are not as high as your expenses. So if your city actually lost 2,000 denarii, but your expenses on construction, I'm specifically talking about construction expenses, if your construction expenses were 3,000, your city would still be determined to have made a profit even though you made a loss. Complicated? Of course it is. Old game. 10% um, of your population living in villas, that is hard in the early game. And even into the late game, 10% of your population is quite a lot. So for a population like 9,500, I'm looking for something like 10 medium palaces. That's quite a bit. Uh, you could get that done with as few as 5 luxury palaces, but luxury palaces are off the cards here. Fewer than 30% of your population live in tents or shacks. That can be a little rough because that means basically you need to feed everybody. No slum town. It's amazing how much population you can shove into a slum town. An active hippodrome is really simple. If you have that hippo, 
Is there any way that a hippo is actually going to... Yeah, there we go. If we have our hippo, then you get plus one uh, prosperity. It says active. I'm pretty sure that means it needs staffed. So the hippodrome costs 2,500 to build, and it employs 150 people. That's pretty rough, actually, so that's going to be difficult to do early. Under 5% unemployment is something you never see in one of my cities, but I will endeavor to have it just to get the prosperity boosts. People below Grand Insule have more than one type of food is the most contentious on this list. I'm pretty sure that's not true. I think it's simply a case of if you have anybody in your city that eats two types of food, you get that plus one bonus. I think. That's some very old information, but that's what I'm going to believe. You pay at least two denarii more than Rome's wage. It's one of the easiest ones because we can just go here. We can go here and we can just eat that cost and we'll always get plus one prosperity from this. We'll pay for it, but at least it's simple and mindless. And there are ways to lose, of course. If your city loses money, and again, this is not making a profit and it's not counting the destruction costs, but we'll almost certainly lose that in the first year. Unemployment rate above 15 also hurts. I do. N I normally keep my unemployment rate at about 50%, so I'm really going to have to build my city differently. And this is why this map appeals to me. It's a great excuse to play very differently from how I normally play. And it's, it feels good to, to change things up in a game like this, because I've built so many Caesar maps in my long, illustrious career as Caesar's top governor. And yet I still like to switch things out. Wages below Rome's. Well, that's never going to happen. Uh, one of these days I'm actually going to do that, but not this day. Going broke and Caesar bailing you out is a minus three, and failing to pay tribute is a minus three. Those two are pretty horrible. Uh, fortunately, Caesar shouldn't have to bail us out that often. Failing to pay tribute, which is this little bit here, will only happen if we end a year at negative denarii, which is something you never want to do anyway, because it reduces your favor by five, and favor is already tight. So now that we know how to make prosperity, we just gotta do it. Hmm. I thought you were Caesar's least enthusiastic rower. Yeah, work smart, not hard. That's how I operate in the galley. That's why they always kick me out and I find myself stranded in somewhere like Mazab and restarting my governor career. Speaking of which, Caesar has seen fit to place me at engineer rank, which is, uh, well, not great, but anything above clerk is pretty good. I'll set myself to clerks if favor degrades slower, and with those two denarii a month I will at least be able to periodically send Caesar a little gift. I think I'm going to give him a Greek manuscript straight away, because normally I don't like to start placating Caesar from the get-go with gifts, because if I ever go two years in the red, he's going to immediately have favor fall to ten. So it doesn't matter if your favor was at ninety or at zero before, it falls to 10, or below. So if it's zero, it stays at zero. Point is, it's an investment that you might lose, but if I ever drop favor down to 10, I'm probably losing this map anyway, because I'm not in a position to fight off Roman legions here, especially with no military academy. So, how are we going to do this? Uh, well, we don't need docks, which is good, so we don't have docks. There's no fishing either, so we can make do 100% with low bridges. That's nice and cheap. So my plan is to bring in a slum, but this slum will be designed to not be a slum after a very short period of time. So, so, so... This entry point being blocked off a lot is a pain because it lengthens the amount of time it takes for immigrants to arrive in my city. Even so, I think I'm going to have a very small slum town here. But I will set them up to start growing food as soon as I have the excess money and employment. And I will try to get them up to Casa as quickly as possible. I don't think I want to tax them. Taxing Casas isn't great. But if I keep my unemployment low, I will be able to do so anyway. So I want to keep my unemployment low, but the amount of people that I'm employing very high. Unfortunately, it's going to cost me a lot of money to clear this out. I don't have a lot of money, but I need this space. I also need to consider my industries. Pottery, furniture, weapons, iron. All of that can be done around here. There's good access to lumber. There's great access to rock. And there's a little awkward access to water. It's awkward because it's competing with the fertile land. But basically my first slum town won't be slum for long and it will be here. 
Additionally, I already need to think about um, patricians, because we're going to be getting patricians quickly. And the patricians are going to live... Huh. Hmm. Now this is an excellent place for putting patricians, because you could slam the uh, reservoir here, water them, and there's a lot of space for desirability. And I need a lot of space for desirability, because no plazas, no statues here. But this is very far away from the entry point. I mean, compared to some maps, this is very close, but I need... When I have patricians, I need the patrician houses filled up very fast because they only pay taxes based on the population of the house. So the sooner I can get immigrants to come in and fill up those uh, houses, the better. And I should probably illustrate the point here. Let's say this is our villa. Here's our patrician. Uh, I've just quickly evolved him, so he only has a population of um, like 12 out of 100. Now, every year some babies will be born there, but the best way is that an immigrant will spawn here, and then he's going to go dum 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 and go in and add like four or five to that population. And once he's gotten in, another immigrant will spawn dum 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 and in he goes. And that that short distance means it's going to fill up with people quite quickly. And the faster it fills up with people, the more taxes they're going to pay. Only one immigrant can be arriving at any one house at any one time. If my villa were over here, the immigrant has a lot further to go, and then once he gets in, the next immigrant has that same long distance to go. It might be not too much of a problem, like this is very nice patrician land, but it's very important to me to get those patricians built up fast. It's just this land is unbelievably horrible for building patricians on. Even if I put them up here, which doesn't look too bad, Getting desirability up here would be rough. Then again, I do have the all-powerful oracle. The question is, do I have marble? I don't... How the heck do I get marble? Oh, okay. Big expense for bringing in marble. Oof. Hmm. You could try flooding them with, home with homeless people. I'd like to experiment with that before I start using it in a proper map. This area is not unthinkable for patricians. But my initial... Slum Town is going to be here, and that Slum Town is probably going to stay for the rest of the game. Mm, Caesar 3 is a perpetual tutorial with Jay. Well, what I love is that no matter how a map plays out, I almost always learn something from it. And a large part of that is that I never like to use industry standard housing loops. I'm, I'm, God, this is such good patrician land, relatively speaking, I mean... It's raised land, and there are rocks in the way, but I think I'm going to have to use this for patricians. Yeah, I don't have much of a choice, do I? They're probably going to be medium palaces, so it's not the world's biggest problem that they don't have um, loads of immigrants coming in, because a medium palace can only have 112 population, I think. Okay, right, our patricians are going to go here. That's settled. This is going to be our initial slum town. Oh, crikey, did I not undo you? I did, you're just visually there. You will you will go away in a moment. Actually, it'd be faster if I just went. Don't go review. Okay, okay, okay. I hope there are no wolves hiding in here. Oh god, I hope there are no wolves on this initial area to begin with. That would be very cruel. Wolves are not the most fun mechanic in Caesar 3. I mean, they could be fun for the onlooker. I'm going to need three timber yards to satisfy my my exports, so I'm going to keep some of the shrubbery here, and that means that I'll be happily able to timber you up. I could do better than that. I can shiver my timbers. That makes no sense. This isn't a very pirate-related game. Right. This is going to be slum town. It's going to be very difficult to get desirability up. I'll probably use temples, actually. I'm just mentally measuring everything out here. Don't you worry, girly. Oh, 
One, two, two, two. This will probably be where the granary ends up going. Hmm. Not unreasonable for the initial slum town. It pains me to waste money deleting this road, but I want the flexibility. Mm. What kind of blows is that I have to bring the reservoir slightly out just to water these people? Okay. Mm Yeah, I'm going to have a reservoir here and then another reservoir here. It's going to feel very redundant, but I need the water brought out. Okay. I have people here and here. I'll have a loop here for industry, the pottery, the iron, everything here. That means the feeding for these people is going to be happening over here. I'm going to be largely wasting this arable land, but the industry is of absolute importance, so I cannot forego that whatsoever. Okay. Yeah, forgive me if I sound bunged up today, I think I'm coming down with a, a wee bit of the sniffles. This might be very difficult to feed these people on. The problem with this is that it's a northern map, and northern maps have precious little, um, precious little food that you can get out of the ground. So for, I don't like civilization games, after you know that. Yes, I see that the money printer is available, Palmar, but it would require a missionary post and industry down here, and it will have industry down here. I just want the initial industry up here, because this won't function unless I have people to begin with, so I do need my slum. Now, how's that slum going to work, you might reasonably ask. I'm going to do this first. I have this sneaky technique to reveal where the merger points are. It doesn't change anything mechanically, but it does help me know where I can have merging houses. Might look like I'm doing nothing, but there is a tiny, tiny magenta pixel that shows merger, uh, well, it shows what are not merger points, funnily enough. I don't think I'll be using that just yet. What I will likely do for my old slummy town is this. this. And of course... Mm, I'll do that for now, I don't know how much of this I'm going to need or want. It's not a lot of people, I'll definitely be wanting more. I mean, one by ones aren't going to bother me much whatsoever, but there's a little trick to this. Tricks in my games, who would have thought? Just trying to get in as many people here as I can. They will need medical attention. They will need some engineering. I hope that engineer actually spawns on here and not onto here. And that will get us going for the very start. I will, of course, set taxes to nothing. And then our lion Temiers can start arriving. Tjena, jag är ny här. Vet du var jag kan bo? Jag har hört att det finns jobb här. Åh, jag vill bli en lejon Temiare. No, people cannot walk through housing. These are solid objects, even though it's just a signpost in the ground saying, please come in here, my Swedish immigrants. So what I've done here is very different from normal. I have only put these things down in a one wide line, one tile wide line. The reason is that if I had a two by two bunch of houses and they merged, then let's say, let's say I have four bits down and four immigrants are coming, one to each of them. The first one arrives, it merges, 
the other guys disappear because you can only have one guy going towards the house at any one time. Whereas this way, I am always getting those immigrants arriving. I don't know how many immigrants arrived because there we go, only one person came in there. But five people came there, five people came there. And there's one again, and there's one again. I don't know how this works. I need to look into immigration mechanics in greater depth at some point. Right. Right, 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 right. I desperately want my exports, and weapons are the most lucrative. We'll double check that in case Palomar has done anything with the prices. Some map makers change prices before they even start the map. But yeah. It's uh, more lucrative than furniture, which is more lucrative than pottery. And on top of that, I can sell the excess iron. And I do intend to sell the excess iron. Question is where I put you. And how many that I need. I'll need three for the exports and another. Mm. I do want to absolutely max my exports. This is going to be a bit heavy on... The amount of space that I use up here, but that's the deal I have made with the devil. So that gets me four of them here. Hmm, I will want another. But I can have up to another two right there. And I am going to need to rub right up against you guys to get my labor access. And then, what do we have? One, two. I can do something like that. The only thing really missing here are places for warehouses. And I'm going to need three or four warehouses. Probably four. And that blows because warehouses take up space. Even so... I could probably shove the warehouses up here. <clears throat> then again, I don't want them walking too far for those warehouses, do I? Hmm. No, I think I'll have some industry up here, actually. And then keep the warehouses... Hmm. Oh, there's a lot of options here, actually. More of the industry could be put here, if need be. And the need may be. I'll have the warehouses here for now. Because the warehouses won't care if the engineer doesn't walk around here. Speaking of which, you do need an engineer. That was a bad place for the engineer. If you have a, an arrangement like this, where you have a stick going into a loop, put the engineer on the end of the stick rather than inside the loop. Because if the engineer is on the loop, he might just do the loop and never go off the little stick bit here. But if he comes in off the stick, he's guaranteed to go around the loop one way or another. And they have the longest walking path of all walkers, so you're practically guaranteed to get them to go where you want them to go. More people will be needed. I can feel it already. Oh man, I can feel Caesar needing to bail me out already. Uh, we don't play with road blockers here. That's an Augustus feature. And uh, I don't think I'd be caught dead using half the Augustus features. I don't particularly like them. Right, let's just get that iron mining going. Do, do, do. Not sure I'm going to use this. I think I will use this for my wood cutting. How many does this say it need? <laughs> One, two, three would actually fit in pretty well. They might get lost walking around the stairs, though they often do. But not much I can do about that. another engineer post because I just don't trust uh, these things not to fall down and it's quite important. <coughs> yeah, it's kind of like, oh, I'm feeling right now, Doc. What's up with me? Okay, in they come. Oh, that's pretty bad news. So Rome immediately pays the highest wage increase that it can do, which is four, and I need to exceed that to maintain my 
prosperity growth. It's only April, thankfully. Now, something worth noting is that these days I play with god effects off. There are two reasons. One, I don't like building god slums. And two, I don't like relying on the crutch that is Neptune's blessing. Neptune can bless you. And that means that you get uh, double money on the first year. Or whenever he gives you that blessing. And that's very powerful. I'm trying my best to do without it these days. There's not a lot of merge points going on here. I guess merging isn't too important to us, but even so, I'm going to make you merge, you two will merge, and you will merge. Let's just get that out of the way. It's mostly for labor access more than anything else right now. Have you what to knock? Can you just make a capsule and get here? Whatever you say, Nitro. Right, weapons. Weapons are plenty. I'm going to need a lot of these, but I also need to maintain a bridge access over here. I think you'll be my bridge access, so I need to make sure not to block that. Even so. Weapon workshops a go-go. One, two, three, four, five. Six is a little overkill, but I want six, so we're having six. And this will be where, for now, everything is going to go. Once we have some wood piled up. You got through those funds quickly. Try to make these new funds last longer. Yeah, thanks, Caesar. Wait, did they even give me any money? My governors think money grows on trees. Oh my god. Why does no one give me any bloody money when I start a Caesar map? Uh, if anybody actually gave me a bunch of, like, a reasonable amount of starting denarii, like 5,000 denarii, I could actually make a city from the start, believe it or not. Uh, nobody believes that, but I can. Right, furniture. We want six of these as well. One, two, three, four, five, six. Might seem like pretty far for you to go, but I'm sure you'll be okay. I shouldn't have built so many. I should have staggered them because this is going to hurt my unemployment. Also, I didn't leave myself space for the clay pits. I can fit two here. Ooh, wow, that was a terrible mistake. One of these is meant to be for a clay pit. Could I undo one of them? I don't want to undo you. You're the one that got all the wood. I could just delete one of them. That wouldn't be the world's worst outcome. I'm going to get rid of you in favor of a clay pit down the line. I'm new here. Where can I live? They know that you love your money. I do love having money, but believe it or not, when I make big cities in Caesar, I tend to... Come on, train of thought. I tend to make sure that my money is modest. So I make sure that the city is only making a few hundred denarii profit every year. Because I don't like this number bulging out with seven figures. I think it looks quite tacky. I'm gonna have you merge here. And now I'm going to... I'm going to need more people in however I cut it, so let's just slam these in. It's going to be pretty difficult to get these guys uh, evolved into a nice little casa place, but I'm going to have to do that soon. And that is going to necessitate more people living here, actually, so let's just embrace our needs. There we go. Maybe even do you? I'll do you like that. I'm not caring about mergers right now. There is no good reason to care about mergers at this point. You care about mergers for prosperity generally. And now that we've got our initial people in, I don't care about the employment issue. Right. 
pit. Let's start getting that clay going, shall we? It is needed. One clay pit, two clay pit, three clay pits, and I must leave this area open for immigrants to come through. It is absolutely verboden that I clog that up right now. I said I was going to use this for my uh, granary, and I didn't do that. Shame on me. this then. Out of the way, out of the way, out of the way. There we go. Do, do, do. There's no tax on the way, right? Oh god, there is. I need to build a military as well at the very start. Palmar, are you aware that you gave me no money to begin this with? I also need to open trade routes. Well, we have the unemployment, so let's get that pottery flowing. Pottery. Interestingly, I could have two of my warehouses here. I am a little interested in having two of my warehouses here. It's just the right amount of space for one, two, three, one, two, three, and it comes down by three as well. As for the pottery, one. Two, three. One, two, three. Four, five. And another one over here. This won't be enough to get me out of debt, especially since I need to pay a thousand denarii to open up these trade routes. My prosperity is going to have a hard time growing with all this. And so, I do what I must. Right, uh, we're just embracing the debt right now, there's no other way. You're really not doing me any favours by being there, you know? Yeah, you have to go. Same with you, I'm almost sorry, but I'm not quite. This is a pretty good place for the reservoir. I will probably put you there. I don't really want to spend the money on bringing the water over to you, but I do need to build this place up. And I can I can manage another... I will get out of debt next year is what I'm trying to say. Quite confident about that. So for now we're just embracing the ultra debt and building up the infrastructure that we need to get these guys out of small tentdom so that I can start getting... What the heck? Oh, these guys in the way blocked the road to Rome, didn't they? Never block the road to Rome. That just cost me money for that extra aqueduct. Right. How many wheat farms can I fit in here? This is going to be awkward beyond belief. So the prosperity is definitely a huge challenge on this map, but it still has the other usual challenges of nothing to work with. You can see why Blobble was a little spiteful about this map. Getting desirability here is going to be rough as well. Do, 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 do. Right, how about we start with this? I'll get more later, but for now this will this will start building up some dosh. I should loop this though. How's this gonna loop around? It's hard to plan looping when you can't build things. Well, I don't want to build any more things here, that's for sure, but. Mm. I think I'll just slam an engineer post here, and then hope that he goes down here at some point. I'm sure he will. It'll be fine. Right, it's October. I'm going to open the trade routes just to get my initial uh, bunch of trade sold. 
because this way they're going to use this year's trading quotas and next year's trading quotas will be nice and empty. We want to sell pretty much everything we've got. Also, wasn't I meant to build a few more iron mines? We have the unemployment for it. No, we don't, because these guys are going to drink up my unemployment. Gee, it's going to be hard to get services here. Services will be suffering here. Hmm. Guess it's time for slightly more people. Great, getting them in at November, they will start buying up my goods. Not enough to get me out of debt, but as long as trade doesn't immediately collapse, it'll be a good start. Hey, there we go, there we go. And I am going to start building up an army. Yeah, I know, I do not have the money for this, but don't really have the little option of not doing this. So, we figured this is the only reasonable invasion point, which is weird. Because there's nothing here. There are no resources that you can't get elsewhere. The farming situation... Actually, you put a lot of farms here, but you put a lot of farms here as well. I don't know why that's the invasion point. It doesn't make a lot of sense to me. I'm highly unlikely to build anything up here. It's far away from farmland, so... How about I just slam my stick throwers over here? Mm, that completely blocks that. I'll put you there then. Just so I have some stick throwers to dispose of the likes of uh, wolves and such. That's a lot of money that I have to make next year. A heck of a lot of money. Fortunately, my slum town is working as hard as a slum town can. Now let's consider prosperity. Let's see if we can't bring up prosperity here. So, I'm going to get minus three because I'm not going to be able to pay tribute. Probably another minus three for going broke and having Caesar bail me out. So that's minus six already. But we're going to get plus two because the prosperity cap is higher than the current prosperity. I think we'll have been considered making a profit. Maybe. We can check that, actually. We lose 5,300, but construction was over 7,000. So that would be considered making a profit, actually. So we will get plus 2 for that. So we're at, we're at minus, nine, uh, minus 2 now. Um... Ooh, I pay more than two denarii above Rome's wage, so that's minus one total. And, uh, hmm. I think that's it. But that Caesar going broke thing might be a one-off, so maybe we'll actually gain two prosperity. I don't know. We'll find out. We'll see what we gain, and we'll try to reason it out. Do wolves and invaders fight each other? No. All invaders just hate you. Wolves, Roman army, barbarians, uh, aggravated locals, they all just conspire to bring you down. Pretty nasty people like that. I'm gonna make sure nothing's about to fall down. Would spot swapping three houses next to the reservoir for markets be a good solution? Solution for what? There's uh, nothing to solve yet. And I don't need to feed these people yet. I need to build up a, a good backlog of food and vastly increase food production. One farm on a northern map can only feed 160 people. I have 840 here. There's something to be said about... Oh, unemployment is only 4%. So actually, I will gain uh, plus one prosperity from that. Although, it just went up to five. But I have a cunning plan for that. I'm going to immediately employ some people here. Was that the best place to put you? I'm not so sure it was. I don't want you getting lost on this staircase. Every possibility will get lost on this staircase. 
Staircases are a real pain. Sometimes walkers just enter them, go in a square on them, and then back out. Which is no good. Anyway, hopefully you'll immediately employ 20 people before the turn of the month. Before the turn of the month. Ah, oh, okay. I actually gained three prosperity there, which is rather nice. Uh, I did not pay a tribute. So where did the three come from? Let's try and ration that out. We made a profit. Okay, minus three because uh, we failed to pay tribute. Plus two for profit. So that's minus one total. Less than 5% unemployment? Maybe, so let's say it's zero. Plus one for paying two above Rome. And plus two for the cap. So okay. I think 5% counts as less than 5% unemployment then. I'll believe that. Okay, I desperately need to sell everything I can to make a profit this year. And I want to start evolving my slum town. Because I need my cap to be above five. Even 10 would be fine, but we need it to be higher. I also... No, don't get lost in there. Uh, see, this is exactly what I mean. Climb the stairs! No! Climb! Why is this so hard? This is why you always make your roads one tile wide, because walkers just love to get lost in them. Yeah, there we go. Right. That guy is a money printer, and I should start taking advantage of him post haste. But I also need the unemployment to take advantage of him. So. We're actually going to start evolving these people, as difficult as that may be. Not a lot of mergers is a pain. Don't get me wrong, it's a big pain. But we're just going to say to hell with that, and make hay. Maybe you would merge if I had this here. Ah, look, we're not caring about mergers right now. Although this is a lot of not merging, a hell of a lot of not merging. This is going to be rough. I might actually tear it down and rebuild it later on when money is good. If money is good. But right now I'm watering people in the hopes that they become large tents, and that will allow me to have more people. Unfortunately, the desirability is so low, because hilariously enough, tents themselves are undesirable. So a tent will go, I don't want to evolve because I'm surrounded by ugly tents. Now normally I'd use plazas or even statues to overcome this. I have access to neither on this map. Because Palmar is, uh... Hmm. Hmm. What is Palmar? Take that question for $500, please. Look at that. Barely anything evolved from that, because it's just so ugly here. So... I am going to... This hurts my unemployment, as, or rather it gives me too few unemployment. Maybe I'm focusing on the wrong thing here. Could slum up further, but... I'm gonna get rid of you two. I'm gonna get rid of a bunch of you. I'm even gonna get rid of... You guys. So I actually need desirability here pretty badly. So I'm going to do some things. I'm going to put in a small temple to Ceres right here. I'm going to put in a small temple to Neptune over here. And here would be better. It would affect more people. But I am caning my unemployment here. That's not good. Marketplaces, however, I cut this. Hopefully, a couple of marketplaces can keep these people fed. There we go, we're starting to get large tents now, which actually do have uh, a nice boost in the amount of people they can hold, so that will alleviate some of my unemployment issues. But a lot of these people just think that their land is so incredibly undesirable. A few gardens here and there can work magic. You will 
mock Caesar no more. Oh God, what? Wait, why is uh, why is he angry already? We've only been in debt for one year. Oh right, favor. Um, how do favor drop that fast? Keeping an eye on the favor, what the heck happened there? It was at 33, it would have dropped by 5, and then another 5. Wait, what the heck? Hmm. Mm -hmm -hmm. I don't think I can handle Caesar at his angriest. We don't have the resources to defeat his army. Well, that's rough. What the heck did that? Look on the bright side, a security problem traveling there will be solved by him coming with a huge army to get you. Well, it certainly will, but jeez. Hmm, what to do, what to do, what to do. There's no way I can beat him with military. I could eat him with lion tamers and gladiators. Civilian defense would keep me alive. Let's rely on that then. We'll rely on civilian defense. When it comes to it. That's gonna suck in a lot of ways, but needs must. Right, some of these people are gonna start being fed, and that's going to give us more population to work with. I'd like to see all these people grow up to be uh Honestly, Casa. But the desirability is really difficult here. Really, really difficult. No plaza. No statues. It means there's not really any space to make these people have nicer homes. The amount of people I can pack into uh, a place grows quite a lot just getting out to shacks, but still, it's a little rough. J'aimerais que ces ouvriers soient plus prudents quand ils changent les bêtes avec mes nouveaux achats. Is donkey just donkey in French? What a disappointment. Okay, okay. Have a little bit of faith. We can still claw our way out of here. I just need another furniture workshop around here. I want to start using the money printer, but I need spare employees for that. But since prosperity is the number one priority, I can't just dump a lot of tents and expect that to work. Put it debt, which is kind of nice, but... Mm, I need to feed these people more. that I could rope this around here because otherwise I'm bringing this down and costing myself some valuable space for building I'm costing myself valuable space in a lot of ways doing this not an easy map but I kind of like that As Dark Young, uh, perhaps not as, perhaps more eloquently than I would put it, uh, said, yeah, challenge is good at this point. That's a lot of farms, but it does mean I can feed a lot of people here, rather comfortably. At least we get the authentic angry Caesar. I've kind of missed his English lines after playing in all these different languages for a while. Generally, if I see someone in a shack, I know it's because desirability is too low. 
And that's a given, the desirability around here is incredibly low. And I do not have a good way to fix that with only gardens. Especially since I'm going to make this even less desirable. Oracles would solve things, which is true. It's in favor of gardens. It's just too hideous. You again! Oh, angry. Just calm down, Caesar. I'm doing what I can with all the nothing you gave me. God, the unemployment is uh, paralyzingly bad. As in, I don't have enough of it. I actually think this guy's surplus to requirement right now. He's costing me employees, which I don't have. At least I have money, though. And a population. And it's August. I would like to set up another housing block, but if I start doing it now, then... Actually, I could set it up over here. No harm, no foul in doing that. There's not a lot of arable land, but what if I just set down the arable land immediately? I need to have money in my bank account to pay Caesar tribute at the end of the month, though. Or else I'm going to lose way too much prosperity. Oh, I can't build here. Caesar's about to come and ruin my day. Um, Jeez, what can I do then? Do I have enough sticks to kill these wolves? If so, then I could use this arable land. Are there any wolves around here? None that I can see. I could certainly use this for building up populace. Hold on, I need to grab a drink whilst I think this one through. There we go. I am committed to beat this map today, and I want to go groveling for the easier version of it. But I have almost no food in the house, and I desperately need to go shopping, so here's hoping that I get this be beaten before the shops close. Might seem like I have all day, and I do, but Swedish shops close notoriously early. So ugly here, and desirability is going to be rough. I might have to plan, if I have to redo this, I might need to plan this block a bit more ahead of time, just because of how hideous the whole area is. I'm going to slap down another temple in the hopes that I get better desirability. People are still coming in though, so the unemployment issue is solving itself. I'll need to, I'll need to engage in money printer strats next month though. Prosperity cap is definitely above, so we just need to make sure that prosperity is comfortable and growing. Ah, je sais pas pourquoi je me soucie avec cette route. Ils veulent rien m'acheter, ou bien ils ont rien à me vendre. Still people coming in. I think I can slam down an iron mine with the intention to start 
Exporting raw iron. Same with another one. Let's just get it done. I mean, this, this poor small tent finds their area so undesirable. But there's nowhere I could build anything to make them more desirable. Which is a shame and a pain. And the food is way too low. We're immediately running out of food because it's being thrown to people damn near instantly. Also, these guys just devolved because of... Uh, how disgustingly ugly these iron mines are. I'm going to do this for you just to get some evo uh, evolution here. Doo -doo -doo -doo. I need to spend most of my money in December as well because I don't want Caesar taking half my denarii as tribute. But I need to spend it on stuff that is constructive. As in, it's going to help me out. So what I'm probably going to do is set up the money printer. Uh... Actually, I'm going to bring you back. I think I'll put you over here, actually. Because it's more important that you placate this than that. I will do it like this. Because the warehouse I'm going to have is going to go here. Yeah, yeah, I like that. And then this is going to be full of industry. Well, I say full of industry. What's the industry going to be? Ideally, weapons. I'm not sure if I can actually shove a little bit of weapon making here. Ooh, a little bit is not enough. Ooh, what about over here? Two weapons workshop, uh, two iron mines rather, I don't think will be sufficient. Three might cut it. I think I'm going to use you, bring it around, manufacture, and throw it over there. Yeah, that makes the most sense to me. Doo -doo. Doo -doo -doo -doo. I'll custom make this road as well. One, two, three, four. Oh. The pacification power of you extends out four tiles. That gives me plenty to work with. And in December, I'm going to start building up the uh, money printing industry. So little industry, says Barry. I have so little to work with, as usual. I hope my prosperity camp is high enough, though. That's a nice thing about Augustus, it actually shows you your prosperity cap. I think it does, at least. I recall seeing that. Alright, that's December. I need to make sure I'm in the black, but also that I spend so much money that Caesar doesn't tear it all away from me. Will three be enough? I'd rather have four. That does mean eight weapon workshops, but I'm sure we can manage. Managing is what we do around here. And uh, Barbaran Pacifying Man is taking care of everything. Good. Very good. I want a warehouse over here. I want you to be able to go out and get labor, but I also need you to get labor, so I'll probably just have a stinky little guy over here that grabs all the labor. In fact, if I do it like that and add the merger later, that'd be fine. Same story here. That way, even if people wander around this square getting lost, they will get access to the labor there and there. And then the weapon workshops are going to be going here. Workshops for weapons. One, two, three, and four. And we'll do the rest later. 
Uh, oh, right, yes, it, it helps if you actually build the bridge required to get there. Still have more money than I want Caesar to take off of me. The net in and out flow is 4,000, so he's going to take a lot off of me. How can I spend more money? I can spend a grand. Or I could just accept that Toga Boy's taking a whole lot off of me. Well, I could build the rest of these workshops prematurely. And of course I'm going to need engineering. I'll put one here. And I will put one here. And that'll do me. I'll probably go into the red, but hopefully my prosperity goes up a reasonable amount. Oh god, I just made loads of money off of selling more stuff. Oh well, Caesar gets his tribute. Lucky guy. Right, I need that prosperity to grow to something like 7 or 8, or else I'm in trouble. Uh, let's do a quick check. So we'll get the two for the prosperity cap, for certain. Uh, we'll get another one for... Uh, low unemployment. Another one for decent wages. That's four. 30% in tents or shacks. Yeah, I think 30% are in te tents and shacks. Lots of shacks, sadly. Plaza would help with that, but we don't have the plaza. But hopefully I'll stop having that soon enough. So what's that? Four? So I'm expecting to go up to Prosperity 7. I think I'm going to ditch these in favour of some gardens. That might get these over to Hobbles. Should be a nice boost. Uh, there we go. Oh, wow! We gained six prosperity. Six is a lot. Let's try and... What, what gave us six then? We got the two for the cat. Two for the profit. I guess we got the one from low unemployment and the one from not many people in shacks. That's pretty good. If Caesar weren't on his way to uh, rip me out of office, I'd feel pretty damn good about all this. Man, old games really do have a certain charm to them, don't they? Says Nefarios very correctly. Alright, the native trader is coming to alleviate some of my concerns as well, which is nice. I just really wish it were more desirable to live here. A bit more garden. Gardens are doing a lot of heavy lifting today. As much as I can. But eventually I'm going to have to um, triage this slum. Right, I actually need to get working on another living space on the double. Because when these guys start eating up my, my uh, employees, there won't be anything left. So I need to make another housing area and very quickly evolve it. This is a pretty good place for it. It's not amazing because these... Uh, Natives are getting in the way, claiming that land as their own, but it's pretty close to the entry point, so it'll fill up with people quickly. Hmm. Otherwise, I can't use this. I need to defeat Caesar's legions with that. Actually, <clears throat> I need to preempt my need for, uh, for people to defeat Caesar's legions. So, how's that going to go? I'm going to have to build a lot of gladiator schools, probably around here. A lot of gladiator schools that culminate at a point here, they wander around and then go to an amphitheater that's over here. That's the plan. And that plan is going to require sacrifices. You here. One of the nice things about northern maps, and there aren't many nice things about northern maps, is that you can just drop small or large tents in the middle of nowhere, and they will work, and they will not burn down, and they will not collapse, and you can just use them for your own nefarious needs. But this will be a setup for defeating uh, Caesar's legions. I know Kraza's, uh, Plaza's a bit of a crutch, but for God's sake, it's so difficult to get desirability on this map. Garily so, actually. 
Actually, I'm going to purge you all together and instill another temple, this one to Mars. Because temples are one of the more desirable objects that I can actually put down. And they've got a fairly good range. I forget how big the range is for a small temple. It's three or four. Right, these guys are chewing up my precious employment. I really need to get working on that second area. Where is it going to be? If these two guys were placated, well, that would cost me 40 employees, but it would give me a lot of space for building farms. And then it's just a case of slamming down as many plebs around here as I can. Doesn't matter if they don't merge for now, it will matter later. Just culminate all the food in here and feed as many plebs around here as I can. Right, that's the plan. I have something resembling the money to do so, so let's do so. I'm just going to immediately placate them. There we go. And now I can build around here to my heart's content. If you have the choice between wheat and anything else, make wheat. Just a very golden rule in Caesar 3 city building. You have very little motivation to farm things other than wheat. Wheat is the lifeblood of Romans. I need to do a lot of farming. Hmm. I haven't completely thought this design through yet. I will eventually. Surely. You'd kindly get out of the way. Um... Oh yeah, I left you there, didn't I? Kind of forked farming design isn't ideal on this map. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm getting so bunged up today. But I won't let that defeat me. I will defeat this map. Feeling like it might take a restart or two, but hopefully it does not. Quite a lot of farms. What is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20 21, 2, 3. What is 23 times 160? That's kind of like 20 times 200, so it's going to be around the ballpark of 4,000. Let's make it a bit higher then, shall we? 24, 25, 26. And that's definitely around 4,000. He knows it. This is going to be a very unorth <clears throat> very unorthodox setup for this. I can feel it already. But I just need to shove in lots and lots of plebes.
But this time I do somewhat care about mergers, especially for labour access. So I'm going to make sure I get a few good mergers that can actually uh, supply these places with their labour access. For example, you merge and you merge and you merge as well, which is rather nice. None of that merges. But you merge. Whenever I get two pink spots here and here, that becomes a pain. Lots a bit of that coming in. What about you? Yeah, that's a nice place for it. With a bit of luck, all of that merges, and then that's good for labour, and I won't care about anything else, and I'll just slam down plebs like nobody's business, in fact. Oh, Jesus, how do these people get water? Very, very important question, and I bunged it. I'm going to sacrifice a farm in favour of water. Okay, that's, that's a good get-out-of-jail-free card right there. It's also quite important these farms don't burn down on me. Well, not burn, but break. Doom, 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 doom. Trying to think of other ways across here. I might give them that. Can you get along here? You can. Interesting. I'll give them that as an easy access over here so that I can put down an engineer there. And an engineer here. And an engineer here. Okay, come on in. I need a lot of people to employ. How do you willing to give me... Oh, Jesus, they're here already. Oh, right, they come from this end. Ah, oh, damn, I was already... Already dead before I even knew it. I don't know why I thought they came in from here. Now they come in from the entry point. Wait, is that always the case? I swear I've seen times when they come in from the exit point. Hmm. No, I think that's my overactive imagination talking. Right, well, this has become a complication. Right. Never give up. Just try and figure out a way. Way. Hmm. Would this way be? I don't know if he's going to instantly aggro on me, but it probably will. It's going to hurt, but we always knew it would. Jeez, that doesn't, though. <laughs> Come on. Uh, hmm. Can't build road because of troop. Could I do something like this? Oh, Jesus. Alright then, there you go. Sounded like he was fighting someone already. not going to work so great, but even so. <laughs> if that amphitheater goes, this whole operation goes. 
Also, if I even manage to win this, I'm in horrible, crippling debt. But... Believe. Come on, go away. There we go. So we're just uh, reprocessing our people. For the good of the city. Right, if they just if they destroy the amphitheater, it's game set and match. By the way, they cannot do that. They must not do that. No, 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 no! Oh, what, what the heck? They're going up here for some reason. Fine by me. Give us something else to play around with. Not the amphitheater, not the amphitheater, just continue to not destroy my amphitheater. Oh yeah, I just realized this doesn't actually have a road access over here. Oh, and now I can't build the road. Okay, well all these guys aren't going to help. For some reason I thought that was connected. But I thought wrong. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Do, oh, well, there goes the amphitheater. There goes the neighborhood. We ain't dead yet. Gladiators, are you ready? Uh, no amphitheater for them to go to, so the gladiators aren't even going to spawn. Ah, oh, bye-bye, city. Yeah, I get towers, but there wasn't time at the end there to er erect them. Ah. Most displeased. Despite all the funds I invested in your city and the Senate's generosity with credit, you have let me down. Your city has not repaid the funds it borrowed. My faith in you was misplaced, and I am forced to find another governor to take your place. Perhaps you will fare better in the new role I have in mind for you. Uh. Right, definitely trying that again. It is a savagely difficult map, and it's mostly because of this. You're forcing somebody to do a lot of prosperity on no budget. But, I don't want to go crawling to the easier version of this map, so we try again. I think it was a pretty good setup, the problem was just letting that favour fall too far too fast. And I don't know how that happened. I very honestly don't know what happened there. Even so... I think I'll give myself a half-decent salary and just try and keep Caesar located with gifts to offset the um, the issues that we had there. Otherwise, I'm pretty much just going to do it as I did before. Although the, the space here is unbelievably tight, I might try and give my plebs a little more space to work with. Because getting their desirability is proving very, very difficult. And these rocks in the way big obtuse rocks here. Is this a 3x3 three three rock? I think it's bigger than that. There's a bit around the side. Yeah, it extends out like that. Rotten. Right. Right, right, right. Mm. Trying to think of other alternative ways of building my plebes up. I mean, I could put the plebes over here instead. It would give me a lot more space to work with. Why not build a pleb block on the hill? Considering that, 
It's quite far to go to bring them the food that they need, and it's further away from the entry point, and I want my population in as soon as possible. It's also... there's no good place to loop it around, and it's generally good to build in loops in this game. I also have to think about desirability. Desirability here is rubbish. There's a minute hill bonus, I believe. Oh, you asked about... I'm wondering what the hill bonus is, but it's not a whole lot. Uh, you asked about Rome Supplies Wheat. Rome Supplies Wheat uh, basically means that your markets will never need to give food. Your houses will always have access to wheat. So if I just build a house here and give it a well, it will grow to a small shack because it has all the, all the wheat it will ever need. Never put that on a map! because it prevents you from getting patricians. In fact, the highest level of housing you can have with that is large insulae, because your markets will never get food. Never, ever. So naturally, your houses will never get multiple types of food. They only get wheat. It's a weird setting. I don't know why it's there. Hmm. I'm trying to think of any other way to go about this. I think it's better to start the left side up. Over here, there's slightly better space for sure, but it's too far away from the entry point. I need workers in ASAP. Money printing at the start needs good population. Besides, the money printer doesn't give you more than the donkeys do until you have so much population that you can dump it onto making more, uh, making more goods. Wood, wood, wood. Iron, iron, iron. I think if I focus my industry more over here, then I'll allow myself more space for plebs over here. Because one of the problems with my pleb block is it was too tight. Didn't allow enough space for desirability. I was focused on feeding them. I still am kind of focused on feeding them. Because people need food. One, two. One, two. One, two. This isn't great for a variety of other reasons. Not least of all, where do I get my clay? Can I play up here? Almost, but not quite. Well, I can clay down here, it's not the world's biggest problem. Do, 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 do. We get the engineer and the doctor as a matter of priority. Slam those taxes to zero and wages two above Rome for the <laughs> prosperity bonus, which we sorely need. And I think I'm not going to bother about the whole uh, one square bit here. We're so close to the entry point that it doesn't seem to matter much. So we'll just get some initial people in. The industry will go here. Additional industry and food will go here. And that should be good to get a start at least. You might have noticed some of the people walking in despawned when these mergers happened. That's why I liked to do just a single row last time, but right now I want to get back on my feet as quickly as I can. There's a lot of iron mining that I need to do. Three, four, five... Getting five in here wouldn't be too tough. And I would actually like five, so... Two, 
actually what I could do is a sneaky little thing like that. And then we have Timber Yard 1, 2, and 3 ready to go. When we are ready to go with them. I'm just going to shove Engineer over here, just to make sure nothing falls down on my watch. What did I miss? The stream's been running for almost two hours. Nothing happened yet. Yeah, I, I got absolutely blasted. It was not good. Not for me, at least. I'm sure some people found it pretty good. The reservoir can go there and just barely be good for me. Maybe even there. And it has to go somewhere. minute because Caesar's going to get a little bit touchy with me real soon. Also unemployment, which is good. These guys are operational, which is also good. I want more people living around here. There's Caesar unhappy. Hey, he did have a bailout loan. Funds quickly. Try to make these new funds last longer. What's the point like a 250 denarii bailout loan? Oh god, we've got Rome pays more wages. That's and it was it was again four immediately. I wonder if that stuff is preset when you make the scenario. Hmm, hadn't considered that. Right. One, two, dunk. There's gonna be a lot of industry needed over here. I'm going to make sure that these people have labour access one way or another. Well, that's awful the way that's set up. Are you good? You are good. That'll be your crummy labour access. And I'll dunk, dunk, dunk. Workshop weapons. One, two, three, four for now. My governors think money grows on trees. Ish. Never mentioned how incredibly difficult this map is. May have brought it up once or twice. <laughs> right, well, lots of people are coming in, which is good news. I need to get the furniture operational as well. I think I need quite a lot of industry up and around here, but that's fine. We actually, almost surprisingly, have space for it. One, two, three, four. Get that wood over there. A little bit of inefficiency on that, but nothing I can't handle. And once you're all said and done, I will want this to slammed into warehouses. Weapons, furniture, pottery, iron, it's all going there. Getting the iron operational before extra wood is good because at least I can sell excess wire, uh, iron. So down all that goes. Bring in more people. The granary will go here and I will do farming and pottery around here. Should have easy access to population. See, this is why I like to keep it close here. If I'd built my housing over here, God forbid, down here, it would be so long for the immigrants to arrive. I don't have that kind of time. We need industry operational immediately. Hope the engineer walks up there occasionally. It's tempting to put another engineer there, but I'll just keep a lazy eye on it. More pop, more better. going to need to give Caesar a gift at the turn of the year because it favor dropped like a rock last time and I truly don't know how that happened. Normally you have two years of embracing debt before Caesar comes for you. Didn't really play out that way. More and more And more. There, that should do it for industry.
for now. At least until we get pottery operational. Now, it's a little tempting to already get started on the farming, because that is going to be of vital importance. Just get a little bit in here for the sake of employment. I have you, and I can have another one here. These are all where he wants my guts for garters, so I might as well just embrace that fact. So, so, you're gonna come down here, I'll get farms around here. It's a shame, but I can't quite get a farm up over here, thanks to this aqueduct setup. But there are other services and whatnot that I could put there, so it's not the end of the world. That'll do for now. I don't want to put down too much because my employment is very limited. But I do want unemployment to be uh, pretty low at the turn of the year, so that's another consideration. In fact, it's probably gonna I'm probably gonna get quite a few people between now and then, so why not just Ooh, I see opportunity here. Why don't I? You come down a little touch. One, two, three. Come along like so. Because then I could farm here. And which is more, there's a little bit of space for even some clay pitting. Now here's hoping that Palmar didn't also put in clay pit flooding again. I didn't mean to sound so bitter when I said again there, but uh, maybe a little. Ooh, you even sneak in there. Ah, that is sneaky. There's all three clay pits that we're going to need. I just need a lot of manufacturing. Probably be done over here. And of course a warehouse for them. Desirable for you living there, I can already feel it. And very difficult to give you desirability. Just trying to complete my loop first and foremost. That seems like a reasonable loop. Bring in the people, bring down the unemployment for the turn of the year. Try to get as much. <laughs> much prosperity as we can. You can go out by one more quite happily. Certainly are embracing the ultra debts right now. Um, I need to open up the trade routes and start selling my excess. Bye bye furniture, bye bye weapons, bye bye pottery whenever I have it buy by iron whenever we have excess of iron. I'm surprised we don't already. Ooh, nice mergers up here. Not that mergers are too much concern, but it's still nice. It's a little tempting to get going on the watering already. Not usually huge on watering my plebes. Good, I knew that would merge. Especially not so early. But having some large tents is going to help with bringing more people into the city, if nothing else. 
Look at that, that's some good location for watering. I'll worry about how inefficient this is later on when I'm caring more about uh, what level my plebs are at. Would you merge if I did this? You would. Ooh, very nice. Very nice indeed. I guess you watered it, nothing else. Then otherwise... I think I'll hold off on doing the gardening for next year to try and keep my uh, amount of money that I make hidden from Caesar. That's my grand plan, at least. People are still coming in, which is good. Very good, even. Caesar 5 when this looks like a military. Military, good point. I completely forgot that I need military on this map. There's the barracks, and I will. I should be able to get barracks and fort next month. Come on, get that sold this year so Caesar doesn't see the profits I make next year. Go, 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 Est-ce que je peux vous intéresser à des biens de haute qualité? We pay above Rome. Our unemployment is below 5%. We're above the population count. We should get 3 prosperity. I would get 6 if I weren't in debt. I got 4 prosperity. Minus 3 for being in debt. Plus 2 for profit. Plus 1 for the unemployment. Plus two for being above the cap. Uh, plus one for paying people, I guess. Guess I'm too good for my own good. Right, let's get to work. Caesar is very unhappy with me, by the way, by the way. So let's send him some performing slaves. It's only 20. He only starts at 30 on very hard mode, which is pretty difficult to overcome. So too is the situation with desirability on this map. There we go. Oh, we are stacked on food. I like that. I like that a lot. Uh, a well-positioned market is going to solve a lot of my problems. But I would rather have two well-positioned markets. I'm going to put one over here as well. This is less on the markets, more on the farms right now. But we're going to try and get these people up to a reasonable level. Uh, raise Ceres. And I'm just trying to find the best places to put down any... Would you merge? If not, I'm going to destroy you. You do not merge, so we're going to get rid of you. And get rid of you. And bring in... We'll bring in the praising of Neptune over here. Put down a theater there, and that should bring them up to large hobbles. And at that point, I will be sorely tempted to tax them until they cry, just for them extra income. I mean, you, for example, you just don't look right, do you? But I suppose getting desirability high is going to be difficult for that. Where to put any bleeding gardens for these people? They hate where they live. And they live where they hate. If that's the case, it's probably better just to destroy them. And then I'll have my forming done around here. Really shouldn't be eradicating one by ones like that, but I want to get these people up to hobbles. The sheer amount of uh, housing density that comes with being a hobble as opposed to a tent. Look at that. It went from 28 to 52 people that can live in here. That's pretty big. And it'll go even higher if I bring it up to Casa. 68 at Casa, isn't it? 
Well, if we're going for Casa, we might as well absolutely fast track our way to Casa. I'm going to give them education as well. This is purely for housing density. To hell with Caesar and his demands. Today is the day of taxation. 14%. I'm going to pay... Eh, maybe 14 is a bit excessive. 8%. Yeah, there is a doctor. He's hard to see behind this giant rock, but he's there. That's not a Marok. That's just a, a regular ginormous rock. Nothing unusual about it. I'm actually going to purge errant one by ones. Because I don't want small tents crushing my. Um, there we go. I don't want them crushing my desirability or my prosperity rating. Uh, oh, I have not been doing pottery. I should have been doing pottery ages ago. One, two, three, four. Can I have a farm here? If not, no farms here whatsoever. Dang. But I could have been doing farming over here. More farms are good farms. A lot of people to feed here, and it's pretty difficult to feed people on a northern map. Pottery! One, two, three, four, five, six. Should probably migrate two of those, actually. By two, I mean three. Because I can have a couple of farms here. The warehouse might prove troublesome. Where's it gonna go? Could they get the pottery over here, I wonder? Or is that too far to go? I don't think it's too far to go. We'll see how it works out for them. For now though, it's good to see some casa. That's gonna do me good for a few years of prosperity cap. But I do need to dig myself out of debt this year. That's worth remembering. So we can't go too gung-ho right now. I can't believe it's desirable enough for... Okay. Favors at 18. That's survivable. But I need to get out of debt or else it's game over. Absolutely have to. These people aren't getting the uh, entertainment walker, but it is solvable if I put the theatre here as well. Okay, okay, okay. Enemies closing. Well, we are building something of an army right now, but uh, I desperately need to sell as much as I can right now. Come on, Lucky. Bring me out of debt, please. That pottery done. We need to sell pottery as well, don't you know? Ooh, that's good. Donkeys are doing their work. Eat that pottery. Eat... Well, we don't have pottery yet, but eat that furniture. Did you use that gift for Toga Boy? I already gave him his gift. I could give him another one, but you should always wait 12 months between a gift unless you're desperate. Otherwise you get rapidly diminishing returns. Ooh, it's good to see all this. You know what's also good to see? Tax income! This early in a campaign. It's the second year, and we've already made a startling 144 taxes. Why, that's almost as much as a single unit of weapons. So yeah, it's not great. Too undesirable here. There's really not much more I can do for desirability without access to statues at this point. I suppose I could eradicate this one little errant place. Oh, we have a lot of unemployment. Dangerous amount of unemployment, in fact. 
I could set up the money printer already, but hilariously enough, I don't have the money to set up the money printer right now. I need to get out of debt. Maybe the moment I'm out of debt I'll do it, or I should be confident that I can make enough money to get out of debt. We still have a lot of weapons to sell for our quota, so yeah, I think it's time to set up the money printer. save here as well. So this is DDR Jake, oh, let's lock on. DDR Jake, Cross, Generous Times, Stream. That way I know it's in progress. One, two, three, four. We've got 266 people to employ right now. That's the power of high housing density. Get rid of a lot of this. This will be expensive, but uh, if all goes to plan, it'll actually pay off a little bit within the year. But you need access to employees, which you can get from here. And if it ends up wandering around there, they'll get it. And similarly, I need somewhere around here that is free from the wrath of the natives. Do we have somewhere down here that we can do that? Yeah, I could actually slam you down there. Then if anybody gets lost walking around here, they still get access, so that's good as well. One, two, three, four, okay, that's fine. Workshops are plenty. One, two, three. And I do want to hide my money from Caesar. Don't want him knowing the fat stacks I'm making. But if he knows the fat stacks I'm making, then he's going to take more in tribute. One, two, three, four, five, six. Out of my way, native. Seven, eight. An engineer here, and I want an engineer playing a little fast and loose if you're here. But we'll do it anyway. Uh, oh, yeah, I forgot, as I often do. These people actually need access over there once they just die. Right, that's going to be the money printer engaged. I might have engaged a little too much. I desperately need a lot of money in the next few months. Why does it say the current date exclamation mark, by the way? What's, what's such an exclamation about that? My city doesn't even look like this. It's all red tiled roofed. Maybe they're getting a real close up around there. By the way, this animation is gorgeous. I always loved it. And I like the fact that it's actually depicting the houses as you see them here. So that is a merged small tent. That's a single small shack. That's a single hovel, a merged hovel. Yeah, it's good. I need to purge my unemployment, and this won't be enough. mission post would help, but I can't afford to spend the money right now. Nice merge here. Okay, well at least we're losing some population due to food problems. Now it's not a food production issue, it's a food movement issue because we have, let's see, 17 fa uh, farms. What's 17 times 160? Well, that's the amount of people that it feeds, and it's definitely more than 2,000. The problem is these houses are trying to build up as much of a surplus as food as they can, and that's stealing it from the people who are further away from the market ladies walk. Oh, sweet, we made it back in black, baby. Mmm. I'll let a month pass for that, and then that's going to keep Toga Boy off my back for a little bit. Get to November. Wow, that's a good stack of everything over there. 
I'll have a mission post over here to keep these natives off my back as well. And then all these guys, they have employment, they're just... Uh... I need to be in black at the turn of the year, however, my unemployment is too high to get the bonus. In fact, I get the malice instead. That's a big swing. I either suck up a lot of people with employment, or I just eat that problem. And it's too expensive to suck up that. Unless I start deleting one by one houses, that could help with it. Wow, we got a lot of mergers this time, and we got hardly any last time. I will destroy the one by ones. It'll help a little bit. Make me feel better as well. Screw one by ones, get out of here. Unemployment at 21% is still higher than it should be. Oh, I desperately need to be in the black at the turn of the year, so buy up my goods. I think they just hit their cap of weapons that they'll buy. Yes, so weapons and furniture have all been bought up as much as they can, so I can't actually spend any reasonable amount of money right now. So prosperity won't grow as much as it did last time, but at least Toga Boy's not on my back, and at least I pay Caesar his tribute. Which is probably going to put me immediately back into the red. But it didn't make Caesar hate my guts, he just took the normal minus two favour due to me paying myself a normal salary. So we'll give him some... I don't want to give him Persian carpets. Uh, I'll give him a slightly better gift when I have 75 denarii. That'll make him a bit happier. And then he's going to get crummy gifts from here on out. We did get good prosperity, though. Again, six prosperity. Two for being above. Two for making a profit. One for not having people live in shacks and crappy things like that. One for my high wages. That's six. Uh, then I didn't lose one for unemployment rate. I need to definitely double check this because what I'm observing is not matching up with expectation. Still though, this is good and we can enjoy a little bit of ultra debt here for a wee while. Let's make sure that those natives aren't on my back. They are not. So we're going to establish a warehouse here that takes weapons and hopefully print money once the weapons start flowing in here. What else do we care about? I do care about setting up. I don't really need more plebes if we have a lot of plebes here, but I don't have the money to start building up patricians. Weren't you at four last year for plus? Oh yeah, you're right, you're right. I was at plus four. I had that usual problem of mine of doing too good. Well, it happens to the best of us. Still do want a cleave area along here, though. These are a nightmare to design when you have natives in the way. Because you can't put anything down unless you placate the natives, but if you placate the natives, you're using up more space that you want, might want to use for your uh, farm design. It's just unpleasant all around. By the way, Shank those wolves for me. Yeah. Be a little forward to build an even more view right now. People love me, they do pay me taxes. Hey, I made a not unreasonable amount of taxes last year. I'd make more if these guys had access to... Ooh, wow, it might actually be a, an idea. A crazy idea, but an idea nonetheless to try and evolve these guys to small insulae. Because the tanks I make off of them would be pretty baller. I'd need to move a few things, but the tax money would be great. And then I could set up more small insulae over here if I'm feeling so... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to aim for these guys to be small insulin, and I'll keep them till the end of the run. Okay, I can get behind that. This is still a partition, er a partition area. But I think I'll set this place up to be my second pleb block, and then go for patricians. That's my game plan right now. And we'll go for small insulin, small insulin, uh, medium palaces, and then 
I'll bump everyone up to medium insulate because we have local access to furniture. And that should give me a lot of prosperity boosting. Yeah, good plan, Jake. Pretty good plan. Since prosperity is a big deal, I'm going to water my plebes. Just so we don't have any really crappy tents hanging around. You bother me, unfortunately, but fortunately, I should be able to actually make you casa like that. Well, one nice thing about what I'm about to set up is that it will drink that unemployment. First off, destroy that. Secondly, this comes at great personal cost, but away you go. And now, 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 now. Do I even set this up? Lots of ways, but which way do I like the most? usual, you are just in the right place to be a pain in my bum. I'm just trying to do a bit of a forked design here for my farms. That's, that's what any normal person would call it, that's why I'm calling it. I'll maximize that arable land after all. A lot of people to feed around here. Now, where's the granary going to go? Nice thing about uh, wheat farms on this kind of map is that they can go a very long way. place for you. Ooh, no it's not because of that. A little bit there. There then, perhaps? Let's see why not. There we go, and now you're going to feed a lot of plebs around here. And along here. And wherever else I can cram them. This is going to be a very unorthodox building, I'm sure. Which makes it pretty bad, so I might try and keep these as light insulate. It's hard to make a loop. Not impossible, though. I could actually loop around here for one loop. And then possibly even loop around here for another loop. Wouldn't be a great loop. Might even be considered by many professors to be god-awful loop. But hang on, are there wolves there? I don't see any wolves. Let's hope Palmar doesn't hide wolves inside forests. Which is a very nasty thing to do. What kind of sadistic individual hides wolves in forests? Right, I need some guaranteed mergers here for uh, labour access, but that's the only reason. And I know that you will merge. That's a good merger. Uh, but that might be an even better merger if it works here. Ooh, that's pretty. There's some good mergers around here, unless my eyes are deceiving me, which they have done so before. And will likely continue to do so in the future. For now, though.
Now that's pretty good, especially knowing that I need space for gardens to drive up desirability. None of these work for murder. You work for a merger, actually. Tempting. Tempting, so I'll do it. Later. Don't forget the water again. Ah, but all I need to do is remove one of these farms. And then I will have the water. But yes, I did forget. So thanks for the reminder. I don't want to sound too cocky. That's not true, I do. I love being cocky. It feels so good. Uh, that'll do for labor access. Can't forget that these people are going to need the Guild of Engineering. And I absolutely can't forget that these mission posts must be brought back. If I forget that, then there's a lot of exploding that's going to happen. That might be overkill with the engineers, but uh, I don't want these things to suddenly start breaking down on me. Why did I just hear... Oh, of course, I sent you to shank the wolves. Good throwing arm on you. I see they've been practicing in Mountain Blade Warband. Uh, Bannerlord, rather. God, I spent a lot of money. I really need uh, Lucky to come and buy my goods. Happy Watson Knock. Ah, bonne journée à vous. Est-ce que je peux vous intéresser à des biens de haute qualité? I do need another warehouse though. This warehouse will take pottery and the iron, and you will stop taking both of those things. Problem with this warehouse is going to make these places really undesirable to live in, so of course we need to try and offset some of that undesirability with gardens. Hey, you actually like where you are now, somewhat. And this just instantly gobbled up the unemployment, which is lovely. something weird on the ground there. Oh, wow, I didn't even notice that was part of this graphic. Hmm, well, how about that? This seems like a good central point for water, but thinking about it, I could actually get water here, and then that frees me up to bring the water to somewhere like here. It's going to make it difficult to bring water all the way out there, though. But difficult isn't impossible. I could drag you out like so. I could even use my patented magical Roman water. And I rather think I will, actually. It's almost too good to pass up. Now my reasoning is they just somehow forgot to put in a graphic for overhead reservoirs that go in all directions. And it is good reasoning. It's a pretty inconvenient location for you, but we'll survive. And that should give water everywhere that I need it. And a single reservoir there is going to water all of these mergers. What was that that just came up? Mediolanum and their increased amount of wine. Well, be still my beating heart. Way short on employees, I definitely need to start loading up on people here. Right. You will connect up there, no problem. I don't need all this forest here. It's probably going to be valuable land for... Well, for something. Desirability, most likely. Now, hunt down the 2 by 2s because I'm only interested in mergers here. Initially, it's looking a little bad. I get checked you though. Oh, oh. Yeah, you'll go there. Nothing goes here. You'll go there. You'll go there. And there. This kind of alternating two by two is actually the best, I'd even say. Now it goes here. Now it goes here. Well, that's all right. We have services there. 
problems of making my indicator of merger points so subtle is that sometimes it's even so subtle I can't see it. It's very undesirable living there, I know, but get in there regardless. You're actually good, but that's fine, that's not fine. Ooh, ooh. Kind of uh, off by one problem here. Two there, one there. Have you here? Should be good. See how that works out for them. That'll solve my unemployment problems right now. I need to get back in the black, though, so if my guys could kindly get to bloody work. Uh, curiously... Okay, the pottery workshops are working just fine. Enemies at the door. Uh, sorry, Caesar, but I need a bit of your gracious help right now. You know I'm good for it, old buddy, old pal. You again. Ah! Hmm. That aqueduct is a monstrosity. Why oh, people not like my aqueducts? They're fine. Belly acres, a lot of you. Another merger here. I, mean, I do want more mergers, more merger, more better. And I'm going to want some marketplaces around here. It's very ugly living here, so that's all the more reason to have the marketplaces like so. And I just kind of hope that they make their loops. all these small tents here, but I think I'll still be able to grow my prosperity even with them, because there aren't going to be that many people living in them compared to living in the casas. And so, i got a lot of people that I need to shove into these places. I do want to shove them over here as well. A lot of shoving that goes on in my cities. My way, I can shove people here, there, and everywhere. Sometimes put a little road here because otherwise these two bits would despawn due to being two units away from a road. All houses need to be within two tiles of a road or a road like thing. There is the idea of just slamming down lots of houses and picking out the mergers, but the reason I'm not doing that is because money is actually a concern. And doing this does allow you to be a bit more conservative with the old budget. I do care about the old budget. I'm not really counting how many people I'm putting in here. Hopefully that doesn't come to bite me in the butt when it comes to uh, the amount of food that I'm growing for my people. Okay, there we go. That should bring in a good fat chunk of folks. Jake seems to be more of a cat person. I like cats and dogs equally. I like animals in general. I mean, some I really don't like. I don't like birds. I don't particularly like monkeys either. Oh, that's not good. I don't want you going over there. Uh, 
kind of odd that you're going over there to begin with. I suppose it's not the end of the world, though. I'm happily in the black, at least. Got a lot of food over here, which is also nice. Ah, oh, look at all those wee houses growing just as I want them to. There's going to be a lot of unemployment at the turn of this year, I can feel. It's not the biggest deal, but I do need that prosperity growing like mad. And we're already maxing out on our industry. Or are we? I mean, is this really maxing out? Maybe I could be doing more and I don't even notice it. I couldn't shove, say, another iron mine around here somewhere, could I? Oh, space for one down there. I'm not sure that's what I'm looking for, though. Long last Toga Boy has a desire. I'm going to give him Arabian Stallions, and I will give him that furniture that he's after, so I'll set it to stockpiling for now. Look at all these merger. Ooh, you didn't merge. A rare flaw. There we go. I was off by one. Maybe I hadn't clicked the lag, uh, deleted that to check for a, a wee spot. Right, it's already September. I definitely want these people evolving. Ooh, another slight error of judgment. I can't actually get water over here. My range for water is there. These guys are in trouble. I have no reasonable way of bringing water over here. At best, I could maybe bring the reservoir... F mm, no, not really. Mm. I could make a reservoir here. That would drag it out by one, two, three, four tiles. One, two, three, four... Oh, that would kind of anti-help. One, two, three, four. Well, I could water a fair few more of them, like that. Sacrifice a farm for it, but it might be worthwhile. Didn't, didn't. Is there any benefit to squeezing out a fifth bit of that in only one place? Right. I think it's worth it, so we'll do it. Wait. Time for watering. That gets a reasonable number of you, to be fair. Reach there. Oh, I like that a lot. Some of these are really good, wow. One made to measure city, ooh, just out of range for you. But imagine if I weren't. Too much imagination. Yeah, just a little bit too much. get water here, but no further. You're in trouble. There's some awkward watering situation, but not insurmountable. The natives won't mind this, right? It's very, very imperative that I don't suddenly make the natives go eight. They would not be best pleased with me. I'm going to hide your fountain in the forest for all the troubles you've given me. Although now I realise that you don't actually get your water if I do that. Yeah, there you go. No. Looks good. We'll give them some godly access. Both of them are going to need it. You're going to need it quite a lot because of how undesirable this place is to live. Uh, they are going to want some entertainment. And they're all going to want some education. Hmm. 
none too shabby, that's going to bring them up to Casa, and then the next step is get them pottery and whatnot to become uh, small insulae. And whatnot, I know exactly what they need. They need an actor colony. They need a gladiator school. I pray to God there's not an actor. Oh, oh, wrong way around. When you do this, put the actor colony closer to the houses because it's a desirable neighbour, whereas the gladiator school is an undesirable neighbour. By the way, I think I've missed a spot when it comes to watering my plebes. Unemployment is higher than I'd like, but the prosperity cap is going to good places. I hate to say it, but these guys have to go. Unless I could squeeze in a reservoir around here. Which I cannot within reason. Damn, one, two, three, four good mergers gone like that. This is going to be expensive on the gardening, but if I need gardens, I will put in the gardens. Let's raise Venus a bit. There's some concerns about the gardens that I'm putting down here in relation to how the walkers are going to move, so I'm going to try and limit that. Otherwise, I need desirability, and I need it fast, and then I need to put all of the people that I have, combined with all the money that I'm surely going to end up with, and throw it into patricians. Help me, I'm going to need a lot of patrician. My god, this is a lot more gardening than I would ever normally do. Not having access to... Uh, what should we call them? The... the da, 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 da. Statues. Not having access to statues hurts more than I imagined. I'm actually thinking about bringing in some marble just to have the freedom to be putting down oracles really soon. I'll start importing, knowing Palomar is going to increase the price of marble something fierce real soon. Unemployment is devilishly high, but the other things should be fine for my city. Water line is so ugly, what did I come up to? You don't like my water line. It's not satisfying some people, it seems. Right, the amphitheater demands are real. Shove one over here. Hope that it loops around there nicely. It's not impossible that it loops around here nicely as well. We'll see how you perform. Oh god, it's so ugly here. They are going to need an oracle. Okay. Prosperity rose by five, which is fine. But it needs to start rising by a lot more. Because I've got to get another 80... One prosperity in 12 years. And we're not currently rising it fast enough. For it. I will need the oracles though, so I hate to say it, but please do send me the. Why is the native trader going all the way over here? Go here, damn it. Yeah, I need marbles for oracles just to get some desirability going. Well, would you look at that? I can actually get you watered without a well. Of course, you hate where you live, but I can make you love where you live. You again. Ah! I knew those marble imports would have a downside. It's okay, Caesar. I will uh, give you your furniture for one, so I'm going to stop stockpiling that. And then as we sell all the other goods, everything comes together nicely. Now let's stop importing those. And since desirability is a big issue here, slam down an oracle. And then we realize the oracle wasn't enough, so I'm going to slam down my own personal home. And that still wasn't enough, but the reason is actually because of lack of enter uh, lack of education. So here's a school. 
you guys are also unhappy. That should help out significantly. Good. It's looking not half bad. I wouldn't mind taxing these people while I'm at it, so here's a forum. And here is also a forum. And here's a marketplace as well. You folks need some uh, entertainment. Fortunately, there's a good place for a gladiator school and an active colony. Where no one is going to care. This is actually a good place for a warehouse. I'm going to segregate my weapons from my furniture. Actor Colony can go there. We need a good place for the amphitheater. This is a good place, but is it a good enough place? It's gonna have to be. I also need to shove in a bathhouse somewhere. Slightly worried about the food situation. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 farms. That might not be enough for all these people. Ah, I'm sure it will be. I don't see any small tents after all, but I do need to sniff out a place for a bathhouse. Probably one of my... one of you two is going to be that, unless I want to purge a house. Is there a really inconvenient merger that's just in a real awful position, blocking lots of other buildings? No, but there is a place right here where a bathhouse could go without having to tear anything down. Hey, right next to the water source, that's got to be good for people. Have some gardens to make up for the horrors that I have done. And then these people should start evolving into small insulae, which will pay me loads of money united. This is good, but I seriously need to get working on those patricians. The problem is... Lack of money! Patricians are so expensive, I like to have 8,000 or so to set them up, and I don't have that. At least the money printer is printing its money. But it's not printing it fast enough. If I am using my uh, pottery the way I am, then I would quite like to have more. so tight on space around here that's a difficult one to do. Contemplating my actions here, because I'm a little low on space for everything. I asked Caesar for a small loan to set up your patricians. I have a feeling you won't like that. When does Caesar like anything I do? Never bloody ever. Crikey, the desirability is bad. I have a solution for some of it, though. Oracle goes here, and it gets its own dedicated engineer post here. The engineer will get labor access, barely, and it does free me up to put another Oracle here, if so desired. <laughs> Folks, be entertained. Got good amphitheater access, but you don't have bathhouse access. The bathhouse worker is one of my most frustrating. Oh, right, yes, attacks. As expected, they are coming from here. Ah, 
Palmer likes to do this. He just puts in very ineffectual fights that... I su well, actually, I'm, I'm hard-pressed to tell what the purpose is. I imagine the purpose is you must build a military to dispatch these guys. So just putting more financial pressure on what is already an incredibly financially pressured map. Oh, maybe I should save before I muck everything up for my run here. Wait, that's a suspiciously large amount of them. understand the purpose of that fight, but there it is. Ooh, right, right, they have access to furniture already. They're going to become Mijim and Sura. And I can't block that because I need to give them medical access anyway. Or do I? I think I'll rob them of uh, medical access and move the doctors over here. There we go. What did I just bring upon myself by... Uh, talking against your ugly magic Roman water. The water line, I detest it. The water at my place where I live just stopped. Seriously, how? <laughs> how indeed. How in the world did that break down? Oh, I didn't actually build engineers on this side. Now everything's about to break down. That's pretty bad. I put a lot of love into these blocks and now... Boom. Oh, they're about to explode as well. Please do not. There we go, that takes care of that nicely. Sure, it's a shame about the houses, but what are you going to do? In the demo version of the game, you can actually build over destroyed stuff. Made it a little more convenient, means you didn't have to keep stopping and deleting things. Right. Silly attack is over. Really just not the money to... Well, actually, I kind of have patrician money now, don't I? And I certainly have patrician unemployment. How did I make all that money? I guess I just wasn't looking whilst everything else was happening. Makes a lick of sense. I would like more pottery work going on, but I'd have to really remove a bit of farming for that. More than I'd be comfortable doing. One clay pit. I could squeeze in a pottery workshop here. But I would also need one more. need, so to speak, but... You actually block the way for two pottery workshops. So I'm going to do you like that. And sure enough, my bathhouse worker refuses to go where I want her to. Very aggravating. I need to find somewhere else to shove the water, and I think I'm going to shove it here. Or rather, shove the baths. I don't know what it is about the bathhouse worker. I don't think they're that terrible compared to other work, uh, walkers, but she just never goes where I need her to go. Selling the furniture right. Oh, whoops. I haven't been selling it. Keep four on hand, but otherwise that stuff's gotta go. It's blocking all the other goods. Alright, you should merge nicely. There we go. Good merger. And then you go here. And that undoes my problem with the collapsing homes. Right, tons of unemployment, need to get working on patricians. Oh, there are wolves in the way. Okay. There's another attack on the way. Why? 
right? There is nothing forcing you to put attacks on a map. If you don't have a military-focused map, ask yourself, do these need to be here? Do these add anything to the map? Get you here for now, that might entice the wolves over. They add suffering. Believe it or not, I don't play Caesar 3 to suffer. Right, good. We instantly engage with the wolf. Wolf immediately dies. And we should be able to pelt that one stack of wolves. I'm just going to sit there and take it. It's nice javelining. And... You're going to get it as well. And this is just Operation Wipe Out the Wolves right now. But I really need to build up the patrician infrastructure, if nothing else. Ooh, I need the active Hippodrome, don't I? I also need a warehouse over here that gets some pottery, so that these people could become better than they are. But I haven't got a good place to put down such a thing. Unless I remove a farm, which is an option. There's a lot of food being made here, and they don't even need this much food. I rather think that's exactly what I'm going to do. Get some pottery. Pottery exports will now be over 12, please. Here, that's going to make this place undesirable, so that's why we have the power of the oracle. Yeah, just the one for now. It's December. I need to spend this money or else Caesar's going to take a huge amount in tribute. Look at that. The taxes are actually not too shabby. Sure, it's 10% of the trade receipts, but trade will dry up at some point. We don't need any of these forests. I can't imagine us needing any of it, at least. I'll spare some in remote areas in case I do need to desperately cut it down. For now, though, this place is here for the patricians. Yeah, I do feel bad trimming away so many of the trees. I'd rather be able to be more aesthetically pleasing. Now, this place is just made for the reservoir. Ooh, maybe not as made as I thought. But still relatively made for it. Now, I have to design these blocks in my head as I go along. It's not easy. I would like the freedom, though, to be able to put down even more. I just noticed those wolves there. Those wolves are at liberty to come over and ruin my day. So I'm going to need to stack some things like my own palace, uh, the senate, and a butt-ton of oracles to build up the desirability. But this is where we're going to have our housing, one way or another. And they are going to need their own personal hippodrome. The Hippodrome's uh, range of spitting out a walker is enormous, so I'm just going to shove you over here. That's a great way to soak up some of the money that Caesar's going to claim I owe him. I don't owe him diddly. Two, three for services. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. The loop is going to look something like this. Service workers and other things come in. This is too small a loop, though, but what can I do to make it bigger? If I do that, I'm not convinced the walkers are going to make it. Could expand it like that, though. That's not an unreasonable loop for any walker to make. Maybe some walkers would claim it's unreasonable. Well, 
have the Senate here. I'll have my own personal palace around here. I wish I could put statues in the center there. But I could do some fancy oracle work. Yeah, some central oracles aren't out of the question there, actually. Let me consider... Oracle, 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 line down the middle. It would work even better if this were just one step longer. My palace wouldn't have so much of a, an effect from here, actually. But it would still have an effect. It's an expensive thing to put down, though. I think I will avoid putting it down just yet. I may need this money. Some initial labor access going. Ahem, <clears throat> heavens knows we're going to need it. But of course, I am interested in mergers at this point. That should be labor access for anyone that goes around this loop and anybody that comes out here. Get their labor access from there. Naturally, it is imperative that this thing does not collapse. So we will put the engineer right there, and then we'll build up from there. That's a reasonable amount of denarii to be left with. It's a profitable year. My main problem is that unemployment is way too high, but that's not something I'm about to solve right now. Soaking up 600 unemployment. Well, that's for the patricians to do. Okay, that should be the wolves taken care of nicely. Good job. The only wolves left are the ones on the entry point, I believe. Well, the enemy's entry point. A bit of a way for migrants to get over here, which is a problem. Could shorten that problem a little bit. No, they're coming in this way, finding it faster. No, they're probably coming in for here. That would make sense. I said I needed a place for a warehouse over here. I didn't find one. Oh, I did. I put you right here. Okay, good. I do know what I'm doing then. Right. We have Prosperity 19 after four years. That's not good enough. Certainly not good enough. We need patricians, we need to crush our unemployment, and we need the Hippodrome active. Getting those things done will fast track our way towards victory, surely. Jinx, you do not want to play ball with me, do you? And the entertainment walker does not want to walk the way I want them to. They're only going up and around here. They're not going down here at all. Another problem. Another solvable problem, actually. It's not good for desirability, but I can put another amphitheater here. Patch up the aqueduct like so. Ooh, it doesn't work. Err. He's thinking. He's still thinking. The mind boggles at what? You have to go. don't really have the space for what I need here. Clay pit needed to be there. Clay pit can no longer be there. Gee, space is tight. Can I possibly forgo any more farming? 
Let's believe that the farming situation is just almost too good to believe here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah. Okay. I hope that works. I am seeing another solution to this, but I'm not sure I like it. Brings the clay pit a little too close to you. I definitely want more marble. There's a lot of things I want, though. Now, one thing I certainly want is for you not to break down and to be active. You're going to soak up the unemployment something nice. These people have their pottery, which is good. I'm going to let them back up a bit more in pottery before I elevate them to small insulate. That's not how my city looks. Is at the door. It was a pretty bulky attack last time, surprisingly so. Some more javelins, please. Det här huset betalar verkligen så lite skatt att det slås i med min tid. Oh, cocky about his spare time. It's an academic for you. Right. I need you guys. Unfortunately, there were two things I didn't consider. One was feeding you, and one was giving you the rest of your goods. What's our access for another bleeding attack? Um, we can get oil straight up, and we can get two kinds of wine. I should have checked that, but yeah, we do have two kinds of wine available. But it's better just to bring in the, the olives and make the oil over here. There's plenty of space for services and such right here for you. But do I really think I can get all of the patricians I need around here? How many are we reasonably going to need? Now I need 10% of my people in villas. That means I need... Well, I need 10 small palace... Uh, 10 medium palaces. Can I even get medium palaces? I hadn't even considered that. That'll definitely do me for the prosperity cap. What about prosperity itself? Medium palaces require 60 entertainment, 6 0. 35 from the Hippodrome, 15 and 10 from the theatre and amphitheatre. So that's 35, 45, 50, 60. I can just get myself a medium palace. I could get myself large palaces, but I won't. Um, okay, okay, okay. So. What? Uh, Ten of them. Let's try and envision that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like eight, nine, ten, something around here. Yeah, okay. If I get the desirability, that's easy. Can I get the desirability? Probably not. But there is a lot of space around here to shove oracles into, and it might just be Oracle Street along here. And Oracle Street would have the power to reach over to here, where they're also assisted by the Senate and hopefully by my Governor Palace, which, on a, in retrospect, I should put here. I should 100% have my Governor Palace right here. It's going to be very good for the desirability. I need to give it uh, access to not blowing up stuff, but we can do that. You don't have three foods, says Palmar. What? Oh, bollocks. Oh, ultra bollocks. Oh, oof, oof. Oh, I didn't notice. I was so used to you giving me all the kinds of food under the sun, but you're right. We're actually limited to uh, regular villas. Oh. Oh, that's rough. Large villas the best we can do. At least that lowers the amount of desirability I need, so let's look on the bright side for that. I don't know if nine of them or ten of them would be enough. Actually, I'd need eleven of them because there's only ninety people that fit inside a um, a large villa. I think it's a hundred and a grand villa. I'm a little unsure on that, so I'm going to check. Let's see, large villa population ninety. Yes, grand villa one hundred, but we can't have grand villa. Well, that blows for me, but too bad. 
I just have to cope with the situation. Would be rather nice to have all of my patrician food done over here. They won't need a lot. Precious few farms will be needed for this. In fact, this itself could become a loop with no real issue. I mean, that has its own implications and problems, but nothing we can't handle. What's the implication here? I guess it's just bangers and mash for everybody. Right, right has meat, left has wheat. Sure that won't get confusing. I'll just do five for each. Paranoid we feel. How are they going to get labor access? With light difficulty, perhaps? I'll put you over there. Oh, you don't even fit. Well, maybe you'll fit. They might get lost around here, which is a bit of a concern. Can I squeeze just a little bit of labor access around here? Wouldn't help if they just get lost in the stairwell, though. They don't always get lost in the stairwell. Have some faith in your walkers. <laughs> but they always get lost in the stairwell when you don't want them to, that's for certain. I'm just putting down a lot of labor catchers um, just to get this stuff set up. The active hippodrome is already helping with unemployment and giving plus one prosperity just on its own, which is rather nice. Match is made from potatoes, not wheat. This is Hot Dog City. I like to think that wheat is a bit of a catch-all for all starchy things, but... Yeah, come to think of it, this is 500 BC in... Uh, Lutetia. 500 BC Lutetia, okay. Um, so perhaps they don't have access to potatoes just yet. Right, that should be fine, but I do need... Oh, this blows. My my donkeys will take a long time walking over here to sell goods, and they always sell before they buy, so that is actually a bit of a problem. So, it's a problem we're going to solve. The industry for making oil is going to be over here. <sighs> Didn't mean to do that, but I did it, so too bad. To colony, return to me. Warehouse for our olives and oil, and warehouse for vines and wines. We'll just import the base ingredients, I don't want to spend more than I have to here. And honestly, two oil pressers and two wineries will be plenty. A reasonable chance they won't get labor access from there, but I'm sure they'll find their schlubers. Ah, bonne journée à vous. Est-ce que je peux vous intéresser à des biens de haute qualité? Those goods. What for this? I would like to amass a bit more pottery for my people now. Exports are going to be over 20. Which is not a lot of exports, I will concede. Why are you taking iron? Oh, we're getting to the point where I do need even more work... Uh, more... 
Blah, words. More warehouse space is what I'm trying to say. You take the iron and the marble. Yeah, I did cane a weapons workshop for that. Which we cannot live without. I'm going to slam you over here. And I'm just going to hope that you continue to work fine. Labour access could end up being a bit of a problem for you. Wow, it's pretty impressive that you became that good. Price immediately rises for something that I'm importing. It's a standard affair. Now, there's going to be a bit of a delay in getting the food and the goods over here, but hopefully next year I will have patricians. In the run-up for that, let's start getting the goods that we need. I want you to import the pottery. Do I want you to import two goods over here? It's not that far to go and there are very few people that need it, so get me furniture and pottery, please. And then you will be here doing much and such for wine and oil. The better practice is to have one warehouse for each but I think this will be okay. You do grab four loads at once after all. Furniture exports to be over 12. And I'm not exporting wine or oil, but it could start getting a little bit expensive. Am I going to be able to water all these people? It might be a little tough, but I'm sure we'll get it. Did I just hear French? Uh, I think you're imagining things. I know my French, and that is not French. I'm a little worried about all this complaints about low access to workers, so I'm going to put this here. And then they'll definitely have access to workers. I don't like these little labour tents, I really do not. Especially on a map that's all about getting prosperity up. Means to an end, really. Det här huset betalar verkligen så lite skatt att det slöseri med min tid. You are just barely not evolving. I'm certain a little bit of oracle magic would help. But I think the best oracle magic could be done right here. We do have what we need for an oracle. Oracle goes here. Now it will explode if it doesn't get access to an engineer. Which is why... We have an engineer here, and a road here. The reason I didn't do it here was because I didn't want the road adjacent to this um, temple, because then the temple walker might go there instead of doing their rounds, and that should... There we go. Oh, this is nice. You're the only thing that isn't nice. How can I make you nicer? Bit pretty out of options for this, truth be told. Unless I could squeeze in an oracle somewhere absurdly close to you. Do, 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 do. Or maybe... Oh, the garden there wouldn't have enough range. I could actually put an oracle here. I won't worry about you right now. I can worry about you later. When we're doing final touches. For now, though, I do think I want an amphitheater around here. I have one here to do you guys, and one... Oh, there's no amazing place for you here, is there? Uh, there's a reasonable chance that you will do the rounds around here. If we get that, as well as making you spathe yourselves, you smelly Romans, then we might have a winner. I don't want to delete this, but... Where else could I reasonably fit a bathhouse for these people? The answer is... not there. Oh, it's so close. Mm. No 
there's a rock in the way there. Not a rock, but elevated land. This is unthinkable. Depends where the walker spawns. I'd rather hold that for an oracle if need be. Sorry. There's your stinking baths. Now stop stinking. Alright, well this is looking not too shabby at all, isn't it? And with this it will really help out the cash situation since these people are more than happy to pay me extra for the privilege of living in these cramped, high-raised insulae. It's August, the money looks good, the unemployment is still too high. I need to start employing people, bring these people up to uh, up to a far more reasonable abode level. Marketplaces are needed. Quite a lot. One, two, three, four, five. Five should honestly be able to take care of this. It'll take a while for them to stock up in goods as well. Um, what else is needed? Oracles and temples, large temples even. I'm going to start spending some of that money on marble imports. These people are going to need a fair bit of marble. Otherwise, I should probably start working through their demands. Which they'll have a few, because they're fussy Romans. I also need to think where my people are going to be. The best desirable land is going to be around here. So it's kind of good if my services are out here. The bathhouse, as usual, is a pain in the bum because it's not going to go the way I want it to. I'm going to stick it here just so I'm pretty certain it does the loops I need it to. Same with the hospital and the... Uh, actually, the hospital should be relatively fine down here. Same with the academy. But I, I can never trust the bathhouse. So... You go here, you go here, they're going to need schooling. A school here might actually cover everybody, depends on the stamina of the school kids. You'll send out the walker for taxes, which is fine. The entertainment requirement for a large villa is not that bad actually, they only need 45, they're getting 35 from the hippodrome already. So the only other thing they truly need is a theatre. Which I could just smack down here. It's a desirable neighbour, so that's no problem. Uh, they will need religion. Who's Who's been the most annoyed? I haven't given Mercury anything, so... Here. Praise Mercury a little bit. And I'll... S I would like some large temples around here, but... For lack of that right now, let's say hello to Ceres and Neptune as well. They're going to need a barber somewhere. We have a convenient little one-by-one -one nook or cranny for you. Shove you over there alongside a doctor. And since I really don't want any of this breaking down, I will give you an additional engineer post. Okay. One frustrating thing is that I cannot... Oh, crumbs. I, did, I made a bit of a mistake here. I want my palace here, don't I? And I've just gone and made it pretty hard to also put oracles in the center, courtesy of you. And believe it or not, I do want oracles here. be down one, but I've just gone and blocked that with these two buildings. They're expensive buildings, but I gotta go now. Yeah, well, such is how it goes at times. L'Hopital over here. And the Academy over here. I just gotta hope in some of their rounds they take the way I want them to go. So I wanted the palace here, right? Yeah, I think I did. Now that palace will explode if I don't give it some kind of access to anti-explosion techniques. Which I can do with this. 
and then most unthinkably I could have that with an engineer and oracle oracle would have reasonable range yeah I think we'll do that this guy's going to have pretty crummy access to labour until this evolves, but for now he should be fine. And then final consideration is actually watering all these people. I'm not too much in a rush right now, although I do desperately need that prosperity, because until these guys actually get the goods that they're after, and they are waiting on uh, the stuff being mulched, then I'm on a bit of a delay as it is. I might actually just set up another warehouse for getting these goods since they are of vital importance. In fact, it, it does make sense to have one. We'll just have one get the furniture and the other get the pottery. In fact, I am really paranoid. Why don't we, just to speed things up, really double up. So you're getting furniture, you're getting furniture, you get pottery, you also get pottery. And once things settle down, I can uh, isolate that more. Ah, oh, those are pretty good. And there's the trade crash we were told. Weapons not quite worth what they were used to. What they used to be worth, rather. Oh, I noticed that! Let's not, let's not keep that there, just in case an invasion comes and destroys me. A nice reminder that I have not been sending Caesar any kind of tribute, so have some carpets. And I don't really want to give you all of my pottery, Caesar. I really do not want to give you all of my pottery. should not be where the uh, marble goes. Oh, it's not meant to be where the marble goes. Forgot to turn it off. The marble's meant to go here. Should you even be accepting iron? Oh, you should take him higher than the marble. I just never took it off there. I was wondering why iron was showing up there every now and then. I would like my own personal villa here, but... You know what? I bet I could if I then did that. There we go, that gave some extra desirability and allows me to be a bit more one with my people. I don't want my people saying uh, untoward things about me and my ability to rule because I'm not down to earth. This is actually rather good. It's far fewer people than these farms can feed. I could feed a lot more people with this, but... Let's be fine as we are. What does crummy access to labour mean? Is access not binary? Bi it is not, actually. Uh, to get access to labour, a building puts out a labour walker. This is one of them right now. As he complains about his krijger, if he ever walks past a house, he gets a bit of labour access. Hmm, how to explain? I'm trying to find an isolated guy. Here, here's one of them. Here's a labour walker. When the labour walker walks around, he exudes a uh, an area around him with radius 2. So, there he is. He's on the square. He has a radius of 2, so he can go out that much. Which means he has an invisible square around him this big... And if that square ever overlaps with a house, he gets one unit of employment for the place that he's scouting employment for. And that's counted every tile he walks. So, there he is right now, and this is the, the invisible square around him. It doesn't touch on anything. But now, the invisible square around him touches on two bits of housing. This square and this square. So he just got two bits of labour access. And now he's on this tile, 
and his square goes out like this, which touches on four squares. So now he's got an additional four. He just got six. And now he's here. We've got another four. And another four, and another four, and another four. And I think he got even more because he got this little bit here. And wherever he walked out from is building up this amount of it. And I think it caps out at 50 something. Can't quite remember. And then that place will be satisfied for a long time. But over time, that labor access goes down and down and down. And then they have to shove out another walker to re get it. That's why sometimes just having a single little crummy tent that they occasionally walk past is not enough to give them good access to labor. It is why I like 2x2 two two labor access as houses, not 1x1. One one. I find 1x2 one can usually do everything you need. 1x1 one one is good if the road completely wraps around them, but generally it stops you just having a single tent um, working an entire massive complex industry. What is the problem here? Wow, the librarian now refuses to walk around here at all. Well, that is a shame. But it's a shame that I can deal with. Is there a decent house that I can just tear away and not care about? It's probably the existence of this just changed some kind of walker logic. That's often how these things go. Mm, not something I want to fuss over, so I'm just going to delete you and replace you with a library. That'll soak up some more unemployment as well. I do wish my unemployment was a little lower to get a bit more prosper prosperity this time. It's probably going to go up to 25 or 26. Shame my unemployment is so high. If I dropped it by just a little, I'd gain plus one, but just a little. Am I willing to go to extremes just to make that happen? I'd have to waste about a thousand denarii to drop unemployment by 200. I think I'll try and get a little bit out of this. One, two, three, four, five. And then that's going to drop my unemployment to 13%. And at the turn of the year... Hey, nice. 25 ain't too shabby. But I need patricians now. Well, I want patricians now. I don't necessarily need them. I think I'll leave you there. Just drink up some unemployment. Right, we have some furniture. Pottery is on its way. We still don't have any wine or oil coming in. And I think I'll do the same as what I did here. I'll have one specifically grab the wine, and one of them specifically grab the oil. That's a lot of warehouses. I don't like this many warehouses, but needs must. I'm also going to have a chariot maker around here, I reckon. Although you don't actually need a chariot maker. It would feel wrong not to have one. Plus you'll drink up more unemployment, so there you go. At least the food situation here is looking all right. Da -da -da -dun, da -da -da -dun. What's the cheapest one by one thing I can put down that blocks movement? Well, uh, not movement, but uh, the growth of a building. It is a well. I'm just trying to think how to space out my patricians. I do the, I do want them uh, pretty much walled into each other. So let me think. You're going to go into there. You're going to go into there. You are going to go into there. I didn't plan to put you there. It's my mistake. You're going to go into there. It's one of them. Two of them, three of them, four of them. I'll have another one over here. So, another one over here. There we 
going. I'm just using wells to stop them from growing out to where I don't want them to go. I will, however, need to consider their watery needs. Actually, I did not bake water needs into this at all. That was my mistake. Let's see, if you're going into there, and you go into there, and you go into there, what if you grow into here? That way I can use you. Hmm. This is a mistake. How do I unmistake this? I'll redo the outside. I do need my uh, fountains out here. In fact, I should use, should use fountains to block these guys to begin with. Actually, that blocks you rather nicely. Well, blocks you. you. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them. Ninth one over here. It's going to be a lot of patricians, but since I'm limited on how good they can be, it's probably for the better. Quite well for now. All right, there we go. Now grow, grow, grow. They don't have library access. I need to solve that. That's actually quite a desirable place for a library, but eh, no buts. It should be fine. So I need this route around the back to add more desirability buildings here. Okay, good on the pottery, good on the furniture. Come on, what is the hold up on the wine and the oil? There's my problem right there. They didn't they were lacking labor all this time. Something I can solve for them. There we go. If you ever truly need labor, go just go up and walk around these things. And enemies are closing, as if to say build up even more defenses for some unknown reason. Yeah, just in case I get utterly mobbed by something there and I need my A game, I'll have a lot of javelins at the ready. I'm actually at the point where I think I do not have enough food for these poor people. You know what I do have enough of? Oracles. There we go, you finally evolved. Ugh. I need you dealt with. Well... I don't really think this should ever be done on a map, having uh, attacks on an area that you have no reason to build on. Uh, uh oh. Uh, I tried to delete that. Wasn't taking any of my deletion. Alright, get them killed quickly. It might be that some of you are a little close to the close to the bridge, so I couldn't delete it. Oh wait, oh, it really doesn't want to delete. There we go. I don't know how powerful the gulls are, but clearly not powerful enough. They're all going home. Good throwing arm. Thinking about it, I'm actually going to increase the amount of oil and wine we're making, otherwise the early point of um, 
of evolving my patricians is going to see quite a lot of devolution. Do you too? Something. There we go. Due to the fact that one one or two markets are going to take all the wine and oil, and then if they don't make the fool round all the time, then some people are just going to devolve from lack of access to that. But we should quite easily get some large insulae, maybe even some grand insulae. Right, I need 70 prosperity in 10 years. That's doable. 7 per year is easy enough. And I should be aiming for 10 per year, as long as I can get my un unemployment down. And thanks to access to the mission post, that's trivial to do. So, now that we actually have money, we're going to use missionary posts to uh, mm, fudge the numbers when it comes to the unemployment. Cook the books, if you will. to here. Do, 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 do. I already foresee my need for this. This will be full of, well I don't really know what yet, but it'll be full of something. Do, 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 do. I mean, I could actually fill it full of governor palaces just to keep the desirability high, but multiple governor palaces look awful. Although multiple oracles don't look that great either. I might as well see my need for them and put them up now rather than later. These guys might be able to do with just gardens and such, because they do have the glorious senate and my own home right next to them. Otherwise their problem is... Oh. I think every time Palmar is put in an earthquake, it's either been in the middle of nowhere or right on top of the native post. So I think this might be goodbye, money printer. It's goodbye, money printer. This has some knock-on effects, actually. I'm going to delete this. Because I don't want to perturb these natives. save, so we're committed to that. That's going to impact on the amount of money we make considerably. I think I'll keep these industries going, though. They're just going to sit and do nothing, but uh, unemployment right now would be a bigger pain on my prosperity. So there's going to be quite a bit of make work. Oops. I uh, forgot to send Caesar the pottery, pottery that he was after. And you know what? I still don't want to. I'm just going to give him some glassware and he's going to forget all about that pottery, I hope. Do not want to give him that. Come on, I need that oil yesterday. What's the hold up? We have oil right here. The... Oh, right, you guys have done your job. The cart pusher should be going and getting it now. The cart pusher is... Uh, one can hope. This might seem like overkill, and maybe it is, but I can always empty out a uh, workshop if need, uh, a warehouse if need be. I want these guys to grow. I oh right, I really, really want to t uh, to get a grip on my unemployment, even though it's going to be expensive. One, two. How many do I need though? About twenty. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty-one. And that is how you potentially do it. Goodbye unemployment. Come on, there we go. Five percent unemployment. It's still a little too high, don't you think? So let's drop it down a little bit more. And uh, Prosperity 25 becomes Prosperity 33. Not bad. That was 8 in a year. The only ones that were missing was a plus 1 from 10% or more of your populations in villas and from people eating multiple types of food. So I need some Grand Insulae. 
And from now on, I can hopefully get 10 prosperity every year, assuming that we get our patricians up and stable. The stable part is important. And with unemployment low, I can jack up my tax rate. And just to make sure all of these people all pay their taxes, I'm going to make doubly sure by slamming in an extra forum here. Just so that there are two tax workers that do this. Because it's possible that this Senate worker goes off and then just goes and bumbles around here for a while on multiple loops. And that stops all these people from paying their glorious taxes. Tell me about their taxes. This house betalar really so little skatt att det slås i med min tid. Whatever you say, man. It's gonna be difficult to evolve you. But difficult is not impossible. Do -de -do, do -de -do, do -de -do, do -de -do. Or enemies at the door. Why the attacks? I just don't understand. Right, uh, now we have Grand Insulate, and we get a very rare line if we can walk past it with a tax collector. There we go. Att driva in skatt från dessa hårt arbetande människor får vi nästan att börja gråta. Bara nästan. <laughs> Bara nästa. Cocky little freak. Okay, not too shabby though. Not shabby at all. Once these guys evolve into patricians it will put a dent in the unemployment which is rather nice but they need wine which is over here and once they have their wine they're good to grow the oil access might prove a little troublesome for these people for a wee bit but that's a them problem Three for two by two, if I so desire. The attacks are meant to slow you down, not break your spirits. Yeah, but they don't achieve anything. If they were actually, let's say that this was an attack point and this was an attack point, then it might be a bit more. Ooh, but right now they don't do anything. Okay, this is good. We managed to get uh, some large insulate. I'm gonna hold off a bit. Let them stabilize a bit, right? We got the oil, we got the wine, that's good, but... Stabilize. He hates the well! That's funny to me. Uh, I said I wanted some large temples here, I still do. Who, who, which god has been most graceful to us? Or rather, which god's uh, entity, or what they represent? Um... Uh, the happiness of our people to pay taxes. So here's a Venus statue. Or a Venus uh, giant temple. That's not enough, they say. I'd say Mercury, because trade itself has uh, kept us fiscally hydrated. So, crunch. There we go. Oh, they like that. Oh, they like that a lot. You can do better than that. I suppose they just want a little bit more oracle love. Oh yeah, they do. Mmm. Mmm, they really do. And you would evolve if this weren't in your way. That's good. You just hate the desirability of the area, sadly. That's going to be difficult. Very difficult to do so. Because even if you do grow, you're going to eat up the... You're going to eat up the gardens. So growing you is going to be difficult. These other ones, on the other hand... Let there be light, let there be life. Is that enough? That is just enough. Let's see if you guys can grow down, and down... And then I don't know why I left this here. But I'll get rid of it regardless. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, potentially 14. That should be plenty. Where did my unemployment go? Holy crap, we got to get on that stat. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Bang. Okay, save that one. Whew. Since you didn't like the God Ghetto, I thought you might dislike Missionary Ghetto as well, Jake. It's true, I don't like that either. I really don't like that, actually. It's okay, it's one of those things that balances out in an Eternal City. Right. What happens if there's no unemployment? If you lack workers, then some of your buildings start having reduced services, like uh, the Academy Walker might only go out so far, or an Engineer might only dispatch from an engineer post every four weeks instead of every week and your industries will slow down like instead of making uh, five bits of furniture a year maybe they'll make one or two or three depending on the amount of labor they have in short it's pretty bad you do not want to be short on workers unemployment is better than being short on workers by a country mile i think i'll actually get rid of you in favor of an oracle an oracle could be more desirable and maybe if I just guard you up a little bit. Good. Not good. It's going to devolve right now. Oh, I know that well is in the way, but otherwise you might be a little too much for me to handle. Well, that's not true, actually. If I got rid of this and I put the theatre down here and you became an oracle... Uh, ooh, okay. So you lose your money printer and you lose your exports of weapons. That's pretty rough. No, 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 no. Now is not the time to be devolving. Now is the time to be mega evolving. Oh, no. There's a lack of wine. That's strange, because there are plenty of people to bring wine. Is what I was talking about, nasty devolution problems. Come on, give them their wine, let them grow, let them grow. Please grow the way I want you to. Phew. Okay, saved by the bell. Folkhakes beast for so long that till my rib pain are there. It's really not the best of all the house. Do I actually have food for these people? That's five. That's ten. That's like a one thousand six hundred. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Okay, well, barely enough food. Oh, but these people eat as well. That might not quite be enough food, actually. Hmm, yeah, food is actually going to be a concern for my patricians. Not something you ever want to be uttering. Solve that issue. A few farms will do the trick. I'm pretty glad I stocked up on food going into this, though. I'm glad that our Norwegian bath lady reminded me about food being a consideration. Three more here, which does also testate three more here. Strictly, but pretty much. Should handle our problems. Hopefully there's no other hiccups here. There's a lot of goods for them to draw upon. The population in these shacks is quite low, so they won't be demanding much food, and hopefully the market ladies just do their rounds. And that should hopefully take care of all my issues for, well, almost everything. I would quite like you to be a grand insulate, because that may or may not actually impact on uh, one of the prosperity things. Measured. Silly school. You misclicked one pig farm. No access of road. That I did. One short there. Thanks for noticing. Go figure they're going to get lost inside the stairwell here. As they like to do. 
I really need to lower the city sounds, they're so loud. There we go, right. Just stay like that. A single little Grand Insulae will hopefully be all I need to get the Prosperity bonus. Now, let's have another rundown, shall we? Our Prosperity cap is definitely higher than what we have right now. Prosperity is 33. The Prosperity cap of Small Casa is 35, so I know that we're below our, uh, our cap. 10% of our people living in villas? Maybe. It's hard to tell because, you know, 36 people live here, 46 people live here. We could eyeball it from this. Does that look like 10%? Looks like more than 10%, truth be told, because our total population is 6,300. That only necessitates about 600 people living in these. I think we've got that, so let's assume yes. Uh... Definitely fewer than 30% of our people live in tents and shacks. We have an active hippodrome. We have under 5% unemployment. Uh, people below Grand Insulae have more than one type of food is a weird one. I hope that works, because it, it definitely doesn't quite work that way. And I'm certain I pay more than Rome, but let's double check. Our unemployment rate is low. Our wages are above Rome's. We're not broke, and we will pay tribute. Let's just make sure the wages are above. They might have raised without me noticing. Nope, that's good. So, we should end up with 43 prosperity at the turn of the year. Actually, I'm going to make a save so that I can investigate this. If it doesn't go to 43, the question is what went wrong? Come on, year. Time to turn. Don't keep me on my tender hooks. Yes, we got all 10 prosperity. So we're in the money. We just need to make sure that this patrician block goes rock stable. I mean, some of these guys are proving to be a bit of a problem for me. I wonder if the barber isn't making it over there. I did move the barber. I think I'll move the barber one more time. That'll be fine. Oh, another one of these popped up. That's good. And hopefully you will grow and absorb your underlings. That's alright. That I can also take care of. Actually, I could start purging this, but... I'd rather purge this, because it's ugly. That's right, you heard right. The people actually like my city. Palmar, how did you manage to do it so it's always doing the maximum wage increase? Because it's, uh... It's inspiring. Okay, we're almost there. We're very almost there. There's some tidying up to be done, for sure, and I need a bit more population. But as long as this loop is stable and well-taxed, and of course populous, this one should be in the bag. So that large villa just absorbed these other houses and gained a lot of population. That's really powerful, and I need to figure out how to use that technique. What's the health is, uh, health is place like? Very good. Very good is higher than I like it to be, but that's okay. There we go. Let's give ourselves a little bit of unemployment. Eh, maybe a little bit more. When I build my next pleb block, there's going to be a lot more to do. Something I don't like about this map is how separated things are. The layout... Oh, drums, here we go again. The layout somewhat necessitates building separate blocks. And I really don't like separate blocks. I like my whole city interconnected. Uh, I suppose the layout isn't entirely to blame. I could build an interconnected city here. But everything was way too tight to do that. Again, I can't understand the thinking behind a 2400 starting denarii for this map. Why? I mean, I didn't want to go crawling to the easy map, but I still think this map has its problems. So I am in position to get some heavy infantry, aren't I? Why not? We have the we have the weapons for it these days. Especially since the exports for weapons have gone down a lot. Normally I like uh, four legions and two javelins, not the other way around, but this'll do. 
If by inspiring you mean inspiring to wrap your hands around their necks. What? Right, stay back. Uh, not in the business of getting myself killed by letting these people into my city. Power of Roman engineering. I'm just giving Toga Boy his weapons is pretty easy. I could easily give him that pottery, but I still don't want to take the weapons instead. And uh, I'll give him some a nice slave as well. Ooh, actually, this is quite bad because uh, if I can't build a bridge close to them, then I can't entice them over to me. Oh, well, they want to come anyway, that's fine by me. The reason you need to kill the invasions at all is because if there's an active invasion, then immigrants will not arrive in the city. The donkeys will, but immigrants will not. There we go, let's wipe out those wolves as well. You might have noticed that there's been no annoying wolf sound in this uh, entire run. That's because I went in and deleted it. It's just so annoying to constantly hear the whole run. That's my pathetic attempt at doing a wolf howl. Alright, I gotta say this looks pretty great. It would be kind of nice if these guys were Grand Insulae as well, just for the heck of it. It'd be very, very difficult to get you your desirability. Doubly so for you. And mega so for your... Uh... Oh yeah, I'm not sure I could get you to anything reasonable, but I do need the labor. Mm -hmm. RTX is so unimpressed it cut it out. I need to figure that one out. RTX keeps cutting out too much. It's too aggressive. Desirability is going to be a tough one to get, but that's why we have the all-powerful Oracle. I'm being a little slap-happy with the money now because we have a lot of money coming in from... Um, from, from, from. Actually, I don't want that there. I want my own personal house here. We have a lot of money coming in from taxes. Look at that. Mmm. Show me the taxes in receipt. Mmm. Taxes now. Clip trade receipts. And you know what's extra fun? We could set taxes higher. We could set them a lot higher. As long as our wages are eight above Rome's, and our unemployment is low, and we don't have any other outstanding problems, we can do that. However, tents hate it when you do that. Tents really hate it. So you should always feed your people if you're going to be doing this. I would like to get rid of all of my tent labor. How much do I have? Actually, none of you guys are tent labor. You all get proper labor. The only tent labor is this and that. I'm quite confident I could do away with both of you. Horrifically undesirable to live here. That much is true. Actually, I don't need so many of these things working anymore, so I could actually get rid of all of that. Then all you really need is your own marketplace, your own ability to pray, since there's a lot of industry going up here, praise Mercury. And, 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 and. I'll give you your own little theatre troupe and your own little library. And that should keep you pretty happy, except it's horrifically ugly up here, so how about we really praise Neptune? Oh no, too big. Sorry, can't give you that. Have an oracle instead, everyone loves oracles.
I mean, that's overkill. He's not going to use much of that because he's going to be stuck at large shack. But that's fine. As for you, you'll be fine-ish if I just give you a marketplace. And there you go. Praise Ceres. Keep it desirable. Uh, we can have you hobbling it up at the very least with that. And it's possible that the charioteer comes across here every now and then. If so, I'll give you a school or something similar. Ah, well, I knew we needed that army for something. The Emperor is cheesed off because I did not give him what he wanted. It's a small force, however... Um, hmm. That might necessitate my entire army, actually. Because they're not academy trained. Mm, actually, one of you and two of you should suffice. I'm going to wait until the Uras are at full strength, and then I'm going to send the Uras and two Javelins. That should certainly take care of it. Do, 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 do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Suppose I can give you bathhouses. Some skin off my nose. These wells are sur uh, superfluous, so away they go. A little worried about the wheat situation. There's not enough wheat. Do I want more wheat farms? Uh, only if I can staff them. And I'm wondering about that. I'll put in a couple more. Mostly out of paranoia. Food production on northern maps is rough. But you know what's really rough? Giving a player a desert or a central map and not giving them wheat or fish. That's pretty savage. Because then not only do they not get the double output of wheat, they also need to employ prefects, and that really eats into your employment. Also, these are getting pretty full of people. The fuller they are, the more taxes they pay. In fact, it looks like they pay one denarii per person per month. So now we can actually just check by the tax map mode how many people are in each of them. So this place has 80 denarii, so there's 80 people living there. And I know my stuff. I don't think I'll bother building more of these. This is all that we need to win. In fact, we're going to have this map won in five years. And we have more than five years. Enemies closing. Well, that's fine. Is our army ready? 16 legionnaires and a bunch of javelins, and they will protect the empire. That is half my army, Caesar, so be grateful. Who are we kidding? It's, it's Caesar. He will not be grateful. We are dripping with money. Hey, wow, these guys are doing well. They will evolve. To have a map such as this and also not need any... Um, Hold that thought. I just want to make sure the engineer is working overtime around here. Having a map like this and not having any labor tents is quite an achievement. Honestly, I could tear down most of this, actually, and migrate the uh, industry down here, and then I wouldn't even need you. But it's a bit of a risky thing just to style on the map, so I will avoid that for now. What's your problems? Yeah, it's undesirable to sin around here. It's fine. Nothing oracles can't solve. Or perhaps another way to put it is there is nothing oracles cannot solve. You probably wish you had a bathhouse. I doubt the bathhouse makes its way over here. Oh, it does! Well, that is surprising. That is highly surprising. Uh, 
it's also difficult to evolve you be oh you don't have entertainment but I bet you could and in fact I bet I could do away with this errant thing over here by doing that. Mm -hmm. They pay one denarii tax and your pay is what, two denarii? Uh, let's see, 46 denarii per... Now I, I really need to look at this because I'm quite certain we don't pay every worker 46 denarii per year. Last year our wages were... Four, uh, 9,500. Which would imply that we employ, what, about 200 people? We employ 2,000 people. It's the 10-year wage, says, well, okay. Well, that, that I did not know. Oh, well, that will allow me to balance my books easier. Not that our books need balancing. Toga Boy told us we need to set up taxes as soon as possible, and taxes we did. These guys need a school, even if... Um... Even if they're complaining about desirability, it's actually a school that... Wait. Education school? Oh, they have a school. Do they have a barber? Okay, so barber is what they're truly after. I can sort them out with that. And I can also sort them out with some desirability. Raise Mars. Although, no kidding, they do really hate where they live. I'm trying to gentrify, please believe me. This is probably one of my least favorite patricians. Uh, it's the first three by three, but it's really ugly. It's just like a big slab of red... red ceiling, uh, not ceiling, um, the other thing. Roof. Just a big slab of red roof, there's very little else visible about it. And it's one step beyond looks so much better. Grand Insulae looks just, hmm, or rather Grand Villa looks a whole lot better than Large Villa. Mm -hmm. That's good. Great, I want Grand Insulae here, not, uh, well, not anything else. I'm a little surprised it's a library that they're lacking, but I can give them that easily enough. Good, good. You got a little bit more in you? Oh. It's still a little too undesirable, but I might be able to fix that with a single garden. Perfect. Oh, that is so good. I just wish I could do the same for you, but that's unrealistic. So it's a city made of grand insulate, small insulate, and large villas. And it's a pretty damn good city, and it should make 10 prosperity per year. So it should go up to 63. If it doesn't, then I missed something, but I don't know what I would have missed. Ha <laughs> 63! We're in the zone. The unemployment zone at this rate. Do, 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 do. But again, the thing that I don't like about it is it's very segmented. This has no relation with this, has no relation with this, and it's not going to have any relation with the next part I build. So I don't think I'll be inspired to eternalize the city. Uh, yeah, I don't think I will, because I'd want to tear down everything and restart, which is not the spirit of the map. Phew. Okay, so this map was very front-loaded in difficulty, and it was stacked. No money, attacks coming in, Caesar hates you, limited in what you can build. Like, the start was just ball-crushing. But once you get past that... No big deal, because the trade was actually quite good. The money printer was actually unnecessary, but with or without it, tax is going and you're in the money. Uh, 2,500 people is trivial to get, Marcus, especially on a map that's this uh, close to the entry point wherever I build. Yay, 7,000 pop. And it looks pretty solid. I'm tempted to put another patrician down, but why mess with something that works so well? 
can almost do away with all of my... In fact, I can. I can do away with all of my disgusting guys here. Oh wait, no, I couldn't. I'm, I mistook unemployment for overemployment. Uh, and I do want that for the prosperity. Forgive me, Labor Sponge, but it's you or fountains, and those things are less annoying to click through. Someone tell uh, John that maps could be made harder than this. Well, the star could be made harder, but... I think the best challenge in a Caesar 3 map is to build something that is interesting but difficult to build on. So, have raised land, have large... These are good rocks, right? These are Marocs that have gone to the gym. Because, yes, they disrupt your block. Look at how much it disrupts my block. It's here, it's here, it's here, it's here, it's here. And it's all this raised land. What it isn't is Marok's little one tiny thing where you can't actually tell it's even a rock. And he defends his bloody Marok's. Yeesh. Yeesh. I hate them. Uh, what just came there? Emperor is requesting furniture. Well, Emperor, I have a ton of Ikea, so take it all and take some ivory with it. And he's going to really love me when I defeat the natives. Oh, God, I'm defending Taraco. Can I can I recall my legions? Where are we going to fit these extra people anyway? There are lots of places to put them. This is the most sensible. But the food is very scarce there. Two thousand five hundred isn't a tiny amount of people. Again, I'd suggest the map Hippopolis for the city building aspect. The only thing you won't like is it won't let you make one big contiguous city. But I really like making one big contiguous city. Domination. Now, the music changed telling me there was devolution somewhere. I wonder where. I can actually follow you to find out where. Unless you're going to the patricians, in that case I don't learn anything. Okay, I don't learn anything. It's fine, but I don't want to hear the music constantly changing like that. So one more year, one more 10 prosperity. There's very little incentive to change anything about my city right now. The only thing I would like to do is add more plebs around here if possible, because it, there's massive overproduction of food. In fact, all these weapon things here could be repurposed for that very purpose. I could set my extra people over here. They already have access to food. Yeah, that's a great idea. A great idea. But it's going to give me a lot of unemployment for a wee while, so I'm going to lower taxes. So people aren't too unhappy with me. you know how to disable windows from telling you, hey, it's time to update, please let me know, because it's getting on my nerves. Right. It's a shame that these industries have not done anything ever since the ground-shaking event. I think I'll leave the road. Yeah, that looks tacky. Rain it in. Still touches you, which is fine. Now let's consider what we can do around here. There's so much food being made. Uh, the main thing is that you still need to be placated, and so do you, actually. Because if I build on any of these native squares, the natives are going to have my guts for garters, so... However I cut this, I do need to have a mission post that wanders up along here. Easily done, I suppose. If you walk here, and, you know, don't get lost in the, st the stairway. We're going to stay away from the stairway. Alright, God knows what kind of block is going to be made out of this, but something will. Reservoir still. What was the place I needed to water for all of this? It certainly wasn't you. You've gone dry, and I think you have as well. But the water already reaches here. Why not just water that? I think I didn't always have you. Do 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 do. 
Always check risk native before you build on or close to native land. That should do us just fine. Right, I'll let these placate the natives and then it's time to have our way with their land. It's January, prosperity is 73. Let's just slam it down, get the population, and then cruise our way to an easy victory for an easy man. I mean, aside from the start. So let it be known that prosperity can be gotten rapidly. I never normally do this, so it has been a pretty good and eye-opening experience for me. But truth be told, I think it would be more interesting to give more resources and demand the prosperity much faster. Well, then again, you can't get that much faster than 15 years. 12 years, perhaps? Well, look, we're not done yet. Maybe I should save the self-congratulation for a little while. Do, 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 do. Oh, right, my health is very good, isn't it? Uh, I might want to eternalize this city, so let's not have you there. And we'll drop our health down a little bit. Or... We'll maintain it at very good. One attack from the wrong place would be funny. Actually, this would be a very, very difficult map to defend if there were attacks from all sorts of corners. For example, if this was an attack point and this was an attack point, you really couldn't build anywhere around here. Because the map is so broken up by the rivers and the elevated land that you couldn't centralize your military very well. So awkward. I think this kind of map should have had just no attacks at all. There was no reason for them. They added nothing to the experience. Why are you gr- oh crap, there was a reason I didn't have a doctor here. Uh, but I said I wanted to elevate you guys, didn't I? Yeah, screw it, you can keep the doctor. I use small insulae way too often. Here's another thing that I don't think should be added. Caesar wants money, okay. Two things. One, it's not very exciting to give him money. Secondly, it's very inefficient to give him money. You could give him 2,000, or you could just pay yourself enough money to give him a single gift at 10% of that, and it will give you more favor. Anyway, take it. That was actually cut out of the game. I'm going to play this straight, see what was expected of me here. Was I expected to build up a reasonable defense against this? Actually, this might be a little bit more than I can handle. We'll soon find out. The annoying part is it's going to stop the immigrants coming in. That could hurt my uh, my prosperity because I'm going to have all these people in tents. Okay, I don't think we could handle this with half our army gone. Yeah, they're going to kill us. That's 100% going to kill my troops. Nope. Yeah, on this map they only attack in one place, which is generally something I don't think is good for a map, because then you just know where they are and you just put all your defenses there. And in this case it's extra egregious, because they're attacking from an island, an isolated area that uh, you, can, you can choose exactly how and when they attack you. So yeah, not a fan of the of the island spawn point for attacks. People have even come there, so let's just do away with that and that and that. I can't even build the bridge now because they're too close to the, the point. 
get out of here. I need my immigrants back. So yeah, I really think... Have a reason to have invasions on your map. Just because you can have everything on your map is not a good reason in itself to have everything on your map. Also, I can actually tone down the amount of stuff we have around here. Because of the increased housing density, it's more people eating and there's not enough food for everybody now. And... Exports over 32 on poultry. And I'm going to want my marketplaces around here. Push you in. I got space for. Ooh, it's a long trek for the marketplaces. They're better over on this side. Come on in. Come on in. I got people to evolve here real fast. Some unemployment to sponge up while I'm at it. Sorry, Mission Post Crutch, I'm coming to you again. <laughs> well, that barely made a dent in it, but okay. Let's we'll see if we have mergers around here. I didn't bother to check for it, but. Okay, it's actually quite good that we didn't get too many, because I need more places for buildings, particularly marketplaces. And now we need to water these plebs. Uh, get out of my way, Nickies. I like to think every so often we'll get a Finn in here who wonders why the homeless people finish. Some questions modern science just cannot answer, I'm afraid. Okay, that should actually be good, pretty good for watering all of them. And then which god do we... Want to praise a bit? Mm. Venus, because we're so happy to be here. <laughs> At the end! <laughs> Desirability is going to be hellish to get around here, but I'll solve that in due time. Uh, Theatre should be fine, library should be fine. Honestly, Casa should be fine here. There we go. And probably a central oracle or two would go a long way. It was quite interesting to play around with desirability in this one. The lack of uh, statues and plaza was really brutal. But evidently workable. Need to make sure I'm 8 above Rome at all. Again? Every increase has been 4 denarii, which is the maximum amount. That's quite impressive. And also highly frustrating. Alright, is my prosperity going to actually still go up by 10? I'm hoping 83. It's not the end of the world if it doesn't go up by the full 10. The full 10. I expected nothing less. Well, the only reasonable thing to do is to give my patricians the Triumphal Arch. It's a bit of a mess here. I don't particularly like the setup. I should have saved the Triumphal Arch as well. I could have, uh, if I internalized the city, I could have placed it more tastefully. Tactfully. I feel that I'm one with my people by putting my own house near theirs. Good. The walkers all seem to be doing the rounds just fine. The only question is getting desirability for these people. And hey, look at that. Lovely red roofs as far as the eye can see. I will augment them. Okay, that time wages only went up by one, I think. Nice. Do I want to bring these people up to light insulate as well? Maybe. I guess I could. I'm gonna get rid of these guys. They're gonna be hard to be made desirable anyway. But if I give them a, not a hippodrome, if I give them an amphitheater, 
and a bad hus, and make sure that they are appropriately taxed, as all plebs should be. And then probably just give them a little bit more market placing, because I don't trust the long distance they have to go for those uh, those potteries. And in fact, I'm going to turn off pottery exports. I don't trust them anymore. It's really going for the high wages now, but that's wages maxed out for Rome. Wow, the doctor actually doesn't do any rounds there. Let me fix that for you. So we're actually going to have light insulae, medium insulae, grand insulae, and large villas. This errant uh, thing right here bothers me greatly. What can I do about you? Did the exports of furniture collapse or something? Mm, I thought it was always 15, but maybe it was 25 in the past. What I'm getting at, though, is that I don't like this labor shack existing, so it's about to not exist. I'm going to get rid of all of that. And I'm going to migrate away you and you and you. And then we're going to have workshop wine and oil and one more wine. And then that labor thing is not needed, and now everybody should be insulator better. Once these guys evolve, which they will, I'm sure. Dun, da, 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 dun, 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 da, da. Did you take anti-explosion measures? You better believe I did. Look at that engineer doing all the work. Where is he doing the work from? Ah, well, he's doing all the work. That said, maybe a little extra one would go amiss. I think he used to be here and I deleted him. That sounds reasonable. This might put a bit more strain on my food than I thought. That's a lot of people to feed with only uh, crummy northern farms. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 21, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. What's 20? Really? 29? That seems a bit much. Let me recount. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Huh, it is 29. What's 29 times 160? Well, that's like 30 times uh, 150. 3,000, 4,500. Might be a bit much. 4,640. What's 4,640 divided by 76? Good. See all the workloose sloobers? Oh, I see. I see all the sloobers, Nitro. I know. It's just because I did a big, a big load of people without considering giving them jobs. Hope this doesn't mess up any walkers. I'm just trying to sponge up unemployment. Do, 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 do. 61 in a bit. I think we have a bit more than 61 small insulate here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 60. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So yeah, I have too many. Hmm. Well, they gotta go, don't they? Hang on, did my prosperity only go up by 3 that year? I wasn't paying attention. I thought I was at 83. Now I'm at 86. That could be a problem. What happened? I doubt it was my prosperity cap. Prosperity cap should be pretty damn high. But then again, it might not be high enough. Hmm. 
Hmm. <laughs> Worrisome. Yeah, it went up by plus three. Right. That could be cause for concern, actually. Genuine concern. Because these are actually pretty crappy uh, prosperity boosters. I thought I had plenty of them, but perhaps I don't. Ah, no. I'm going to get rid of you and give you an oracle to boost these. I'm surprised that still wasn't enough for you, but so be it. Eh, this garden might make it enough. There we go, I knew what I was doing. It might actually be that I do need furniture over here to evolve these people further. Now that I do hate to admit. But you're doing a pretty good job getting that, so go and get furniture as well. We will evolve these people. We'll... Make sure they're all clinicianed, which they are. Mm -hmm. Still having food issues around here. Do, 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 do. I only need nine prosperity, which is no big deal, but I need it in like a year or two. Desirability is a bit horrible around here. You will be the one to solve that. Kick you out your home. There you go. If you're being a problem, you get replaced. You know, the markets have to go quite a long distance to get to you, but maybe that'll be okay. Even all medium insulate only just gets to 98. 110 small insulate, 14 large villa, only 90. Even all, okay. Well, we're working on medium insulate. Also, is it 14 large villa? I thought it's 16. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Wow, only 14. I mean, I could add another one. It wouldn't be the end of the world. Oh, of course, Rome wants my weapons, but I should have loads of weapons to give him. I was uh, I was holding out on the amount of large villas I can have. There was space for more. Still probably is space for more. For example, I bet I could shove one over here, no problem. Oh, but getting a little tighter than expected towards the end. Let's save so we're committed. Some of these people are just gusting me. It's a marketplace problem, no doubt. We'll give them the clinician, even though I don't want to. Plenty for you to grow and grow and grow. You just got your pottery, your entertainment. Now you're waiting for a market lady to bring you furniture. Here she comes. There's your furniture. There's your oil. There's your extra food type. There's your wine. And there's the catch. He doesn't think it's desirable enough. And that might actually be a little difficult to do. One, two, three, four... That can help out a touch. More. Oh boy. See, this is where statues would help out, but of course I don't have statues. The hospital should come by soon enough, but I do worry that you're going to have desirability issues. Issues which are hard for me to fix. Yeah, man, there are some real issues around here.
Is Caesar your favorite franchise or game? No, that would be DDR. But I do love the game Caesar. Right. Any more for any more? You're. I don't really want to evolve you. It means putting down gardens where I really don't want gardens. But I was putting off this oracle for a long time. Maybe I could slam down another oracle. Which just barely reaches you. Hey, there we go. He knows what he's doing. More gardens for you, sir. What are these people's problems? I'm still waiting on that furniture. Yeah, the furniture crew put is hurting here. Ugh. I'm actually a little pressured to deal with this fight quickly because... Uh, it's going to block immigration. I also need to make sure that I'm getting lots and lots of prosperity, so I need to soak up any unemployment. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and I actually need to do double that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... Six, seven, eight, nine, ten-ish. Shout out big time. I wonder if we can actually take these guys on. We'll soon find out, I suppose. a little worrisome. There's no column formation for untrained legionnaires, so they don't get their massive boosts in combat that you would like them to have. Right, wages are high. We are... We made a loss? Oh crap, I brought my taxes down, didn't I? Whoops, that's gonna hurt prosperity. Oh boy, okay, right. We need five more and we're good. Five more prosperity. I forgot I lowered my taxes when I was building up the tents and I didn't raise it back up. There we go, good mountain blade moments there. Everybody back to fort. I hope that's not my prosperity cap though. Well, we got two extra large villas. We've got quite a lot of... Mm, quite a lot of lack of pottery. You know, I know of a way I could solve this slightly. If I could just squeak a library in around here. And I can. I'm gonna get rid of this. I'm going to... Oh no, I don't want to put that there because that's stairwell. Anywhere else valid for a library. Not that he's seeing. So he needs to look with his mind's eye. Okay, what if you weren't there? Don't like that at all. I do need a library. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. do. Just trying to see how I can reposition anything to squeeze in a library. And it's not coming to me. Okay, I'll just have to trust that my people won't get lost in the stairwell then. Library goes here, no explodey goes here. And then I'm going to bring in a warehouse here. And your job is to go and get pottery and furniture just to ease up the marketplaces because they're being strained. Oddly enough, my furniture is disappearing. Probably because I'm exporting too much of it, so we're going to put exports over 32 now.
Just extend loop one space towards the map edge. Uh, I needed this space here for the warehouse. Otherwise, yes, definitely an option. Right, this year, uh, this year is crucial. I need prosperity up to ninety-five. And I don't know what the camp is right now. I think it'll be okay if these guys just get their pottery and furniture. But getting that pottery and furniture is proving troublesome. Actually, you're going to get furniture, which is a bit of a pain. Um, it's possible that the food is going to be an issue as well, but these small casa are definitely an issue. I purge a few of these just to make my life a touch easier. Or to put it another way, if you're a tent, you go away. What about the rest of the population? We can get that in the final month, no problem. Unless there's a, an attack that stops immigration. But we only need a thousand people. Should be very trivial to get. Yeah, I wonder if I killed too many of my furniture workshops. That's quite possible. I'm going to get rid of two of you and replace you with furniture workshops. Because now my consumption of furniture is a lot higher than it was before. And that's giving these people a hard time of getting it. Oh man, my changes to get to medium, ins uh, medium insulin might have mucked a lot of things up. Thankfully, patricians have a huge backlog of, uh, of things. These casa disgust me. I really need the pottery over here. But you're not getting the pottery. Actually, we might end up with a pottery shortage that causes a mass devolution right now because the... the Places are working too hard to get furniture. Oh, you're not getting pottery though. You don't have pottery, but you're not out there getting pottery. Mm, well, this could be trouble. If I see a mass devolution of Casa to here, that is a huge problem, and I'm not seeing any backed up pottery for people. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Oh, here it comes. Oh, they're just barely holding together, but some are falling to Casa. And Casa would. Oh, God, here it comes. Oh, that's painful. Oh, that's real painful. Yeah, they were focusing on furniture. So, actually, destroying my furniture production. Uh. I think has just cost me the map, because now my prosperity is going to dip hard. Any last minute get out of jails for this? I don't think so. Yeah, every... Oh, wow! Wow, actually, we just made it on the prosperity. I don't know how we maintained prosperity 100 and all of that, but we did. Okay. Close. Right, now it's time for the forbidden technique. Forgive me, Sensei. I must go all out just this once. Right, forget your furniture. Pottery is of m much more importance. If you really want furniture, I guess I could set something like you up to go and get it. I should have done this a long time ago, actually. I should have set you up to be the one to get it. Now. Something to learn about this game is that prosperity is only calculated at the turn of the year. Population, on the other hand, is calculated instantly. So if you're in a bit of a pickle like I am right now, and don't get me wrong, I am in a pickle, you can do the, what I would 
consider it the dirtiest technique in all of Caesar 3. And you could set up a giant slum on the very last moment. People will happily move into your slum. Very happily. It's better to do it closer to the entry point, but the entry point is completely choked right now. And uh, make sure that none of them will merge, because if they ever merge, it's going to slow down the immigration. I only have one year to get this done, and there's an invasion about to come knocking, which I'd rather not have to deal with right now. Every square I'm setting down is plus five population. That does mean I need rather a lot of squares, though. Jake in a pickle. Funniest thing I've ever seen. I, I don't get it. I think you're referencing something that felt like a reference. Okay, I don't know how many I just put down there, but a few. And I still feel like it's not enough, so we're also going to put down some more over here. And this is where northern maps are actually really useful. These people don't need fire protection, they don't need uh, engineering, so you can just slam them down and invite in as many people as you can. Wells? Uh, they don't need wells. I think it might even be more efficient to pack them in without wells. Come on, folks, move on in. I need you now more than ever. I'll bring these back as well, just to slam more people in. Turn off my furniture exports altogether. Get to work, my furniture friends. I need you. I need you badly. There's a bit of a backing up of furniture, so I'm even going to put in a couple of extra ones just to get these excess bits of lumber put to good use. This is horrifying to see. All this because of the furniture. I didn't realize I'd cut down my furniture so much. But I must have deleted them when I made space for these. And the, the warehouses were so focused on getting more furniture that they didn't get pottery. And that caused this mass devolution. Anyway, time is not on my side, but let's just cram all these people in. Overall, this map... I like the idea of... Uh, having to get prosperity quickly, but I don't think this map was very fun to play. A lot of that came down to just way too much front-loading of the uh, economy. Like, I have built a gorillion slum villages. I, I don't want to keep building more. Is it too much to ask to just get some money so that I can start by building a city instead of a... Horrific slum. As I said, the good and interesting challenge comes from manipulating the land. Oh, bollocks, that's terrible. Um, because this is blocking immigration, I must defeat it as soon as possible. God, they gotta run, run around here, don't they? Move it, chowder heads. Oh God, I might be inviting them a little too fast. It's a good wall of, uh, good wall of javelins, but I don't have, a, I don't have a lot of months for this. Come on. Come on! There's no time, it's already September. Right, forget the thefts. I'm just gonna drop all of that and throw a lovely festival to encourage people to come to my city. Alright, never chase them down in time. Out you all go. I'm not sure I can get this amount of immigration in time. Oh god, I actually need people like 
here just to speed up the rate at which they enter the city. Do, 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 do. Come on, come on, come on, it's October. Three months until this is all gone. They will enter the first tent, which are far away. Yes, they will. Oh! It's not growing fast enough. Come on, enjoy, enjoy the festivities. Oh, I think I'm buggered. Oh, come on, Caesar, I was 70 people short. displeased. Despite all the funds I invested in your city, and the Senate's generosity with credit, you have let me down. Your city has not repaid the funds it borrowed. My faith in you was misplaced, and I am forced to find another governor to take your place. Perhaps you will fare better in the new role I have in mind for you. Yeah. Alright, how close was I on that? Um, miraculously, we got the population that we needed. Not the population of prosperity, but we practically had the population we needed. So all of you guys getting him with that. Uh, right, I need to solve the problem that I created for myself, and that was destroying my furniture. So let's revitalize the furniture economy. And uh, I need to make that money back, which I was losing. 14% tax, it should do us fine. And maybe that will prevent the collapse, but I don't think it will. What, what may prevent the collapse, however, is a... Couple of dedicated workshops for this. They're not workshops, but um, warehouses. You guys bring the pottery because the other ones are clearly focusing on the furniture, which is barely there. We have the power to turn back time and make Caesar forget that he ever fired us. This comes with being a governor, you know? We'll need that furniture plenty, though. Uh, oh, right. No, I already had the extra patricians, which is nice. Save, so we're committed. Even though we might have still been a little too late to prevent the furniture collapse. Okay, but we got the pottery. That should save some of the pottery collapse, at least. And the lack of collapse should actually prevent um, me having to destroy too many houses which should further prevent the uh, horrible rush of population. Make new furniture buildings on the bots? Uh, too late. Too late. I'd barely get any amount of furniture in on time. On the other hand, look at what we achieve here. I shouldn't actually have to delete anything like this. And then at the turn of the year, I can just spam to win, or so I hope. So I hope. A little bit of yo-yoing, but nothing to be worried about. There we go, Prosperity 100. And a lot closer on the 
uh, population. So now, so now, so now, so now, we practically do the same thing, or rather we do do the same thing. Yeah, there was a question. Blobber, do you feel vindicated about your opinion on this map? I do think Palmar puts a lot of unreasonable things into his map. So I don't think it's unreasonable at all what you said. Losing by 70 hop is funny. It's losing it by one house. Yeah, not even one of these houses holds 80. It was a rough way to go. Oh right, the people are, the attack is gonna come and ruin my day. It's possible this time I might have enough people and there's another thing, if I'd uh, if I had cleverly moved my troops ahead of time, which I should have because I knew the attack was coming, I would have dispatched it faster and gotten the next wave of immigrants faster. But I was too silly for that, clearly. Open this up so we can just help them with javelins all day long. Oh my, some of you are just standing out there. Oh, we might even not have to deal with the attack. In fact... Well, that is devilishly close. I don't even think we need to deal with you. There we go. Caesar can arrive in his city, deal with the attacks, deal with the many impending problems. Enjoy it, Caesar. It's all yours. Ooh. There we go. Once again, I've proven myself to be one of Rome's finest governors. Okay, that map was a bit ridiculous. Um, can we load it up from the very start? Or did I overwrite that? I don't think I did. Prosperous times in the start of it. Right. If you're going to demand people to make a highly prosperous map quickly, don't give them 2,400 starting denarii. Don't piss on them with like a 200 denarii bailout. You need to get this stuff going fast. Don't just punish them. The attacks were meaningless. There was no point in having them. Granted, I did just lose to the attack, but I lost to a lot more than just the attack. Have a reason, right? If you're adding attacks, think, what am I doing with this attacks? If your logic is just, ha ha this will screw the guy, or, hmm, I don't have any good reason, so I'll just put it here. Probably just better to cut it out. There are plenty of peaceful maps, and there's nothing wrong with that. These attacks are isolated, so there's no difficulty in handling them. There's no consideration about where to put your military. There's no real thinking involved, just general rule of thought, don't have attacks, only come from an isolated area that you have no reason to expand into. But you lost because of those attacks, delaying your people coming out. Yes, but that wouldn't have been a problem if I hadn't made several other problems. Like uh, the whole collapse around here due to me uh, messing up my furniture, that was completely on me. And I suppose being too cocky and waiting too long to build up my final population, also on me. That was not the attack, the attack was just the straw that broke that camel's back. Uh, it does force you to make an army. Great! What does that achieve, Melky Yad? What in any way does that achieve for the map? I don't think it adds anything of value to it. Okay. Anyway, I don't really like this map. It's, uh, it looks pretty good, and it's pretty decent to build on. But the core challenge being the prosperity stuff, and just utterly pissing on you with the uh, starting condition, I don't think made for a very enjoyable experience. Probably the re reviewed version of this map that Palmar's made might be better. Don't know, haven't looked at it. I wanted to try this map in its, uh, well, basically the same one that Blobber played on. Spending 2,000 building a barracks and a fort, so you only really have 400 to not, yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know why. Why do I keep getting maps with no starting denarii? 
I say this all the time, but people just keep giving me maps with no starting denarii. It's like, okay, here's 2400, but you need 1000 to open up your routes here, which leaves you with 1400, which is nowhere near enough to start up a reasonable city, unless you do a pathetic slum and just keep cranking at goods until you have money. S please stop making maps like that. Is it too much to ask? Well, evidently it is, because that's the only kind of map I've had for a very, very long time. In any case, although I have many criticisms on the map, it was still fun to try this out because it was the first time I've ever tried to race prosperity. Having to quickly have a functional city up and on the go and then focus patricians to get that prosperity up was pretty fun. Like, the that whole element of it was good fun. And the layout of the map is actually pretty good. There's, there's a lot of uh, arable land. Palmar always puts way too much farming land, way too spread out in the city, which... Uh, encourages segmentation of city, which I don't like. Maybe some people do, but I don't. And, 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 and... I was going somewhere with that. Yeah, it was actually kind of challenging, despite what I just said about the food being thrown everywhere, because this is a northern map with no fishing, meaning it's very hard to grow lots of food, making high population a bit more of a pain. The layouted land was cool, although a little underutilized. For example, there was no reason whatsoever to use any of this land. That's why I just dumped my army on it. Um, this is a great place of land, but it's far away from everything, which is nice. Central Island, it was it was great, I just didn't use it. Uh, this area here is pretty much just decorative. When you put this much stuff around, no one's ever going to build it. No one's ever going to look at here and go, Oh, right, I'm going to put my grand villas up here, or my grand insulates up here. Because this is practically unusable land, except maybe for industry to snake around. So maybe if this was the only source of rocks, that would be an interesting thing. But otherwise, it's just eye candy. Still though, whew. Nice map. Challenge kind of sucked because of the start of it. But even so, got it done. And I'm reasonably happy with that. And I'm reasonably happy that it's still the afternoon. Because I desperately need to go out shopping. The only food I have is two out-of-date eggs and uh, two packs of bacon. And that itself isn't going to make a great meal. So I need to do a good bit of shopping. I'll be back tomorrow with more... Banner Lord, because that game is also great, and then something something on Saturday. I haven't decided exactly what. Or have I? No, no I haven't. I'm not being coy. In any case, until then, it is a cheers for me, a cheers to Palmar for continuing to make maps despite the horrible things that me and some other people say about them. It's good to see some real passion being breathed into the game even at this age. And don't take my words to heart, I'm an old and jaded player of Caesar 3. Is there anything else to say? Probably not. Bye-bye.